What's up? What's up, brother? How are you? Good to see you, man. How are you? Yeah. Long drive. Roll, roll her outside. Uh... <laughs> Shop. What's up? What's up? Show me this place, man. Uh, yeah, this is uh my shop, DFR, in Rialto, California. It's my all-wheel drive four-door, and uh, right now we're working on it, getting it ready soon. It's the whole feeling about just raw horsepower under your foot. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Do it. Do do people know your real name? Do you ever use your real name? Not do, really. But do you not want people to know your real name? I mean, a lot of people that knows me personally, yeah, they know my real name. But you'd rather not. Just you're gonna be driver. No, no, just been called driver B since street racing started for me. Cool. All right, we'll just do that. Because <laughs> your name's cool. Like you got a cool name. Thanks. I don't think people have an easy time pronouncing it, but it's easy to pronounce. It's, it's I spelled B E H Z A D. It's Basad. Basad. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, everybody said driver B because I had a B series. I was like, no, it's not. It's just the first letter of my name. Because no one can say it, right? Yeah. That was it. They did, but, you know, struggling. So since I was a kid, my dad always called me B anyway. That's cool. That's a cool, that's like a cool nickname. Yeah. Yeah, I got my, my Mia, I call her Shmi. Her name's Mia, but I call her Shmi, my daughter. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, my my youngest son, the ones that own the all-wheel drive, right. uh, EG, uh, they, his name is Jaden. They call him Jay. Jay. Yeah. My, uh, my nephew calls me Uncle G. I'm, all, I'm Uncle G to them. I yeah, will. all my niece and nephew called me Uncle B. Uncle B, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's kick this off. Welcome back to another. I am really loud on this thing, so I might bring it down a little bit because I am screaming. What's up, party people? Welcome back to another episode of Burning Tires. I am your host, Greg Leone, and I have an amazing guest today, Driver B. What's up, what's up? Yeah, I'm so excited to sit down with you. I think I've been, been trying to make this happen for a while, and uh, you are an extremely busy man. Yeah, dude, it's just like I'm by myself, so... Yeah, I I'll work at the shop. Um, you know, we got a dino shop we do at night. We we tune and uh, take care of the family, kids, right, grandson. So yeah, because you're because yeah, you're you're like not only a father, you're a grandpa. Yeah, your grandpa be there. You go there. You go. <laughs> Damn, that's cool. Yeah, I'm dude, excited. So how? I mean, man, that's it's hard to hold down the shop as one person. It is. It is really hard. Yeah, people don't realize it, but it is right. Let's do a little little background. So driver driver B is the king king of the front wheel drive, king of the all wheel drive. There you go. Right. So he's street street king too, man. You yeah, I've been been on the streets for years, man. Yeah. How you long know? how long you been street racing? Since ninety two. Ninety two. Yeah. Yeah. Ninety two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the days. Yeah. Same era, man. Yeah. I same remember. era. <laughs> yeah. We go way back. Yeah. So uh, let's let's take it way back. I mean, this series is uh so. 
the series Burning Tires is a it's a bus cast. So we're on a school bus. A lot of people were asking that the last show when it aired, people were like, I, I didn't realize you were on a bus cast till I saw the ex- or, or on a school bus till I saw the external shot. Mm-hmm. Well, we were on a school bus and we were shooting in the back of a school bus and and this is the uh, this is the podcast studio. There you go. And um, so that just kicks it off where we are, where we are, and where we're now. We're parked outside of your shop, and your shop's name is DFR. DFR. And we look at in Rialto, California. Rialto, California. Yeah, yeah, I crawled through some traffic to get out here today. Oh, I know. That's why I was, like, asking you, did you hit traffic? Oh, yeah, I hit all the traffic. <laughs> Cali traffic for you, man. Every single traffic. Sometimes I hit the carpool lane. I'm, I'm going to be real. Yeah, I just hit the carpool <laughs> lane. I just do. I'm just like, eh, you know, I'm in a school bus. They're going to assume there's, like, 30 people on here. I just kind of, <laughs> you know, don't pull. If you're a cop and you see this, don't pull me over. Just, you know, respect. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. But uh, I got here a little little bit quicker than I would have, I think. I was looking at the GPS, and it was just terrible. So, um, But, yeah, let's take it back. Let's take it back to the, to the beginning for you. Like, I like to start at the beginning. So what is, uh, what's your genesis into cars? Like, what's your first, maybe even your first memory about um, cars and going fast? Well, actually, back in 92, I had a CRX. Okay. Um, SI. Right. And we were just messing around, cut the springs, lowering it, and, uh, you know, some weird stuff. But start, like, in 90, 93 is actually where I start doing some kind of street racing with what we had at that time. You know, technology wasn't all that at that time. Oh, it was terrible. Oh, dude, it was bad. But still out yeah. there racing and just having fun as being a kid, teenager. Right. And um, start... Um, opened the shop and I was 19 years old, man. Wow. Back in Northern California. Wow. Yeah. So start off, uh, you know, with all those back in the day stuff, sound system yeah. and Altizo tail lights and all those that are the stuff. big, those are the, the big, th- APC, there man. There you go. Yeah, APC tail lights on everything. <laughs> and everything. Everything. So slow, slowly back in, you know, high nineties and low two thousands, we start getting actually to like. You know, a little bit here and there when they had everything for Hondas start coming out. Yeah. Um, in 90, I mean, 2005, when I had my EG, the white one with the okay. Willy bar. Yeah. And um, that's when I ran the 920s. Right. On a, you know, stock transmission. And what Like, did, what no one ran in SoCal. Trust right. me. I think I was the first person running nines in the Honda. Right. So that was pretty, pretty cool at that time. Yeah, and when you you trek down, you'd always trek down for like battles and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I remember that. And then we used to take the cars out to the streets. Uh, even though I lived in Northern California, I was always in Compton right. on the weekends. Yeah, that's a. That, I mean, that's a full on mission to come down. Yeah, one thirty fifth and Main, man. Damn, yeah. So, yeah. and there's the streets here. I don't want to burn it, but uh, you know, people start racing. I'm the one that actually find that street. Oh, that one over in that one spot. That we don't talk about? <laughs> no. The the one that we ran when you when you, you when go. you did the test test run on there your you on your all wheel drive. Mm-hmm. That's four-door. the street. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the street that actually I was uh is on YouTube. I was the first person to find that street, man. But you in two thousand and six. You wanna know something funny is we used to race on one street over from that. Yeah, the other side. And we always used to get caught there. Because we the get train. boxed in, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. And that sucked, man. We <laughs> <laughs> just I would just park my car yeah, and walk down walk the train through. tracks. <laughs> I would walk. I'd be like like a hobo walking the train yeah. tracks in that spot. We didn't. We only raced there a few times because it sucked because we always got boxed in. Yeah, they, you can't get out. You can't get out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One side is like <laughs> two car, two yeah. cop cars can box you in. That's it. You're done. <laughs> like I remember Ontario's day when we all got busted. They actually brought school bus to oh. block out the streets. Yeah, and they had the paddy wagons out there hauling all people away. Of, yeah, oh, dude, yeah. I was on a bike and. We all got busted that night. Wow, damn. Yeah. It was on the news. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember that. Is that 2006, 2005? I, I, got, I got arrested a few times in Ontario. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you do the line. You, like, everybody just waits in line. And when they box you in, they just wait in line. And they're like, oh, okay, you don't have a line. Oh, okay, or you're yeah. or whatever. You're coming with us. And so I just, I did that twice. I got hauled away twice. I got a couple times for actually run, like racing. They like yeah. f- lights out, follow me down, whatever. I got beat up pretty bad. But I learned you just park your car and walk. Well, just wait by your car, I man. just parked it. They don't like it when you take off on them. 
Well, but no, they wait till everybody leaves. But mm-hmm. if you just park your car and walk and you're not around your car, you can't get like a member spectating tickets when yeah, they started yeah, yeah. coming out. Well, they, I never got a spectator ticket before, but yeah. I did get uh, tickets for like, you know, pretty much racing and yeah. take my car away and right. got it out. A couple times was 30 days. 30 day impound, yeah. That's the hurt part. That's the hurt part, yeah. $2,500 more. Now it's more. It's more, yeah. Yeah, but um, most of the time I got the car out the next day because the cars have no registration, no insurance, so they yeah. take it in. Right. And you have to, you know. Go get, go get, get it registered. Yep. You got to get a release. You get like a one-day moving permit. Yeah, and then the DMV. Release, yep. The release you got to get the release from the mm-hmm. from the police agency, whatever. Yeah, the the all wheel drive four door got busted in Barstow. They took it recently. Uh, about maybe a couple of years ago. Right. Yeah, yeah. I had to, there's no registration, so I had to go get it one day from it. Oh, get man. the car out. It's on YouTube also. But you're not like a. I don't know. I think you remember they were crushing cars. That's if they find stolen property, it's stolen parts in your car. Okay. Or if the actual calls, car is stolen, like, you know how yeah, the yeah. VIN number um, doesn't match. Right. You can't come with the proof. Right. They if, crush it. Yeah. If they ran your uh, motor number, you know. But they're doing, they were doing the crushing cars for repeat street racing offenders. Like, if you were, like, a had a, a bunch of stuff and you got caught. Well, I, I don't know. Because I look at all these cars now. Yeah. Everybody getting caught, they let them go right. because all the you know the cars are not stolen anymore like it used to be back in they the were days. All, everything was stolen. Yeah, but <laughs> it's like everybody, yeah, it's some just one part on everyone's car was at least was stolen. stolen. Yeah. yeah, so they they find out it's stolen and then they crush your car, but right. they don't do it anymore. I don't. I didn't hear about anything. Yeah, I haven't heard about yeah. it. Yeah, scare tactics. It's been a while. Yeah. yeah. So I think we should be all right with that. I think so. Yeah, let's race. <laughs> yeah, just fucking race. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing so before 92 there was nothing there's no one in your family that was into cars that got you into cars there's nothing growing up Mm-mm. that you were just like i was just always into cars just like being another boy yeah you know what i mean like exotics or what were you into <laughs> what was like your before you Actually, drove before before honda i was into uh mustangs okay <laughs> i had a fox body uh like 93 even in 90 even that i had a honda right i had a 93 cobra okay but I, wow. a week later, man, crashed it. Really? Lost control, hit the pole. Yeah. Damn, that's the thing with those. They let they love poles. Yeah. <laughs> those fox bodies love poles. I don't Any I don't know Mustang what it is. Poles. <laughs> what? All Mustang <laughs> legs. <laughs> Wait, you're saying Mustang drivers like pole? Wait. <laughs> what are we saying here? <laughs> um, yeah, dude, I did, barely had it for like two weeks. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. But Yeah, those things are kind of squirrely. Since then I just been into yeah, you no know, Hondas. You never had another Mustang. That that blue car right there is. I've had it for a while, man. Yeah, like long, long time. Yeah. So, you know, I kind of uh, keep them. Yeah, you fall in love with them. It just, I just wanted, to, like, I just pass it to my son. Right. You know what I mean. Right. At one point, I wanted to sell it, and I changed my mind. So, is it hard for you to part with a car? What do you mean? Like, um, like your four door. Mm-hmm. Or like your Integra, mm-hmm. was it hard to part with your Integra? Like so, when sell I sell it, yeah. No, it wasn't. It? No, no. You I don't know. I didn't. I I bought that car uh, three years ago. Right. And um, it was a street car, make seven hundred horsepower. It was all good, but right. man, I got state ref up and down on that thing, right. man. Like in one month, I had three state ref just driving it from home to work. Wow. I wasn't even punching it. Just that it just you know. Wrong place, wrong time. There you go. Yeah. And now state refs are like, you have to put it back to stock. It's not like you just can pay the fine. Yeah, it used to be that way. So I just made it to a non-op, and I made it to an actual sport front-wheel drive car, like in two weeks. Turned a street car to a front-wheel drive car. Yeah. And um, I built a new motor for it, set up, and when the motor took a crap, I just wanted to, you know, you sell over it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. it was a front wheel drive. Like I told you, I'm right. done with front wheel drive, man. But what about I mean, what if you had cuz cuz I have a problem. I I get attached to cars. Like I just fall in love with them. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what it is. I just I think it's cuz I put so much time and heart and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. effort into them that I just like love I love the car and it's so hard even if it's just like this some stagnant project that I've been working on forever. It's just like I can't. To me, actually, you know what? It wasn't hard at all. Really? Yeah. I I said goodbye to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's about it. Okay. 
you know, and the guy that bought it from me pot it out. And I was watching all the pieces going really? for sale. Yeah. Damn. So Were you bummed? Was it didn't, didn't even bother no, you? No, it didn't nah. bother me, actually. You were just over it. But if it was going to be like my Ford or my EG. Yeah, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Would that be a different story? That's a different story. Yeah, okay. yeah that's a different story. All right, cool. And I was always a fan of four doors. Yeah. Yeah, every car I had was four door except the blue ones. Why? I don't know. For some reason, I just love four door. Yeah. And it has to be EG. No EK, no Integra. Four door EG is just like go. your heart. Right. Those are the best ones. How many of those have you had? How many four-door EGs? Five. You I still have two of them right now. Okay. Yeah. And then I sold a couple of them because I crashed at Irwindale. Right. And the whole front end was smashed. And we made it. We fixed it, but it was the car never was the same. Yeah, it Pools. wasn't straight. Yeah, yeah, so I sold it. Yeah. So, yeah. And I got this four-door. Yeah, this thing's a beast. Thanks, man. Yeah. Getting there. It's getting there. It's always there. been a beast, man. <laughs> I remember I went out with you that night. Um, you were testing it, mm-hmm. and man, it's just it's it's so crazy to be. I mean, you see the videos, but it's it's different when you're there and you have that full like visceral experience of just how hard that car launches. It just ju- it like pops, like it hits when you hit second. It just bah! <laughs> it does this bah, the thing that you can't see in videos. Like I don't know, you, I don't know if you it's you're seeing it, you're experiencing it, you feel it. You oh, feel dude, this, it's big, bah! different, like. Getting out of the front wheel drive car, that's let's say you at the track, you get like one, four, three, six foot with the front wheel drive. That's like the best. really hard to yeah, get. The best you're going to get. Yeah. So think about moving from that to like one, two, two, sixty foot. That's wild. It's big difference. Right. You know what I mean? It's just like, uh, it's hard to explain, but it feel like a, a roller coaster. Right. You know what I mean? Like, that you know how you get force, that drop? That force, yeah. yeah. Or, yeah. you know, it's just like, it's totally different, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So, and it's hard to control. People don't realize it. Oh, yeah. That you drive a front-wheel drive car and you get into an all-wheel drive car, it's a totally different car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I'm not going to disrespect anybody out there, but I've seen a lot of all-wheel drive cars that they can't drive them. Right. There is, it's really hard. Right, right. You know, because it's doing front people expect front wheel drive is you got two wheels say, locking. I don't, don't want to say it's easy because mm-hmm. none of it's easy, but front wheel drive is easy. Yeah, it is. You know, it's the the back's going to follow you, and, whatever and is going to happen. And not only that, there's other people with all wheel drive cars that are like DSMs or any other cars that are automatic. Yeah. Trucks and stuff. Oh, it's not. Put it, get behind a stick shift car. Yeah, right. I don't even have string gauge. So I use clutch and I use just a regular H pattern. Damn. Shit. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I drive my car. You drive by feel. Yeah. You know what I mean? And right. sometimes I let it go because I really want to save my car or go home to the family. Yeah. You know, especially on the street. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I see my car's going out of control, I let off. Yeah. It's okay. I'll take the L. Right. Pay you, call it a day. Yeah, yeah. Like what happened in Compton to me in, in you know, in Christmas Day. Right. I um they were like, Oh, why did you let go? But hey, I have my car still. Yeah, and you have your life still. And I proved that I was gonna walk that fox body. Because right. in second gear when I clicked, I was <laughs> like a bullet passing them. Damn. But I had no choice hitting the brake because you were just skating. The the tune that was yeah. in there was a track tune, so all the boost was in it. Yeah. And I didn't take the laptop and my tuner was out of town. He wasn't available. How much boost was that? I think it went over 60 pounds, man, like in second gear. Uh, and that car just tilted to the left, right, and locked me. So I had no choice hitting the brake. Yeah. If you look in the video, everybody's like, oh, you didn't shift. I was like, no, I was still in Can gas. Can we get that video? Can we get that video and put it yeah. on? I was cool. like, I was on, because you don't want to let off. You don't want to get no. out of the gear because the car going to go crazy. Yeah. So what I did was my foot was on gas. Yeah. And I just hit the brake and the staging brake. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. try to straight out the car. Right. That's why I didn't shift. Usually people go neutral or just, you know, shift to another gear. The car going to go all it's over gonna the It's going to upset forward, mm-hmm. yeah, as soon as you do so that. So I just straightened out the car, call it a day, yeah. lost. 
I was a man of my world. I pay I pay him. How much was that? I think it was like about thirty eight, thirty nine hundred dollar. Yeah. At somewhere around that area. It's a lot to pay out on Christmas, huh? It's all good. Yeah. It was just like everybody chipped in. Yeah, it's cool. Disappoint a bunch yeah, of people, yeah, yeah. but you know. Yeah, yeah. Rematch coming out. Rematch? When's rematch? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna be with him or right. not, but Yeah, Christmas is uh Christmas is a fun time in Compton. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. That's 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 where it is. Yeah. You know? That was fun. We went out the other night. Not uh, other night is relative, I guess. It was uh, eight months ago. Uh, it's been a while. Has it the been? last time me yeah. and you went was uh, yeah, I think it was in July or June. It was in the summertime we went okay. last year. Yeah, because I remember we were hot. We it was were hot. sweating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it has to be in June. The block or July. was hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, the test pass was uh, I think was in February. Yeah, it was last colder. Year. Colder. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that was in February. Me and you went. That was a fun night, man. That's yeah, fun it night was. Going out. Both those nights were fun. Yeah. What happened? We had to leave. Something happened that night. Oh yeah, they ran the. Um, oh, the guy was doing. Donut. Was, those are different nights. No, it wasn't donuts. It was. Um, they ran, and then they. It was the gypsies didn't want to pay up. No, no, no. The guy that did my test pass. Oh, you did the test pass. You remember the guy came with the three fifty Z. He was doing oh, donuts. Yeah. He didn't want to move out of the way. I think it, wasn't that later we were loading up or something. He just came and did some. Donuts? No, that was uh, before. That's where I shut off my car, wait for him to move, oh, yeah. and then I did the. And I, he wasn't gonna move. I said, "Forget it. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna hit him, right?" Yeah, yeah. So I just did the pass, and I remember he pulled back to the side, and I just went through it. Yeah. I was like, "Dude, you're just wasting my time. I'm not gonna sit here, you know." Now was it was it a Z? It was a Z? It was a Z, man, or oh, BMW? BMW. BMW. My Three bad. Series BMW. Yeah, yeah, it was a BMW guy. On its nuts too. The thing was like slammed and just some random guy out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, man. Yeah. It was like a bunch of people at the finish line because I remember when I went through. Yeah. And then when I was coming back, I saw a bunch of them was standing there. Yeah, damn. Goddamn sideshow people. Yeah, that was. <laughs> what do you think about sideshows, man? It's a, f- man. I don't want to use the f word, but people, a man, just like. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Go in the parking lot or some shit or do it. Not right. in the middle of the street or in the fucking freeway, man. Excuse my language, but I have to say it. Yeah. It's just like they're pissing me off. All yeah. these hits, uh, killings, and all these are yeah. from them, bro. Right. And the people are, are more idiot when you swing in the car, you're going to go jump in the front of it. Yeah. You cannot beat a car. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious to where it's going to evolve to because everything evolves, right? Man. Like we started where we started from, it's evolved. It's become a it's become a you know, there's a there's a motorsport lot plenty of motorsport series that have evolved have spawned from street racing. Sport compact stuff, mm-hmm. Battle of the Imports, IDRC, you know, Naira and you know, uh N D R A, all these different series. We got like World Cup finals, we got, you know, um IFO, all these things have spawned from street racing, right? So I just wonder What's going to, sp- like, uh, drifting is spawned from, like, ma- mountain pass drifting and, you know, all these cars in Japan drifting these, yeah. like, mountain roads. So I just wonder where sideshows are going to evolve to. Because it's going to happen. You know what I mean? There's the, It's there, it's huge. It's they, should, they should name it idiots. <laughs> because there's no, there's no point of it. I, I try, so I have a little more, I have a little more, um... I don't know what the word is, but like a little more grace for for them. And I know it's like some of the stuff I just shake my head. People are there's some p- dumb people out there who really are. do dumb things. You know, you yeah. go to a car meet. There's some idiot doing donuts there anyways. Who's gonna ruin it for there everybody? You go. Another another right. thing is to set the streets on fire now. Oh yeah, I see and that. People yeah. catching on fire. Yeah, and they're hanging out the window. They're right. falling out of the car. Car yeah. running them over. Right. You know all these. And we have a local street here that was pretty good. Like, we go there, test, or do fuel race. Right. Someone just died, like, a couple months ago. On because, the takeover? Yeah, some guy started doing donuts and yeah. ran over a girl. And they left her there, and it just everybody lo- took took <sighs> off. That's terrible. And it, things like that makes the street hot. Now, anybody that goes there to do, a the, like, a race, yeah. they get caught. Right. They put a sensor all over the street now. Damn. So, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, and, and then no. they named that street racing. And yeah, so, I know. That's the worst part. That, and then when we go street race and we get caught and they charge you're, us with all that. You're lumped into all that. All the legislation that's going to happen because of it is going to get there lumped you in. Go. I know. It's going to happen. So it's just like, it just, I'm just not a fan of it, man. Right. 
even even roll racing on the freeway. Yeah. I don't care how good driver you are. You go right. 160 right. mile per hour on the freeway. An innocent person with the family in the car. Yeah. And you are a sudden they're not going to see you coming down 160 mile. No. They go no. right in front of you. Yeah. What's going to happen? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I have a family. I yeah. don't want someone rear end me with 160 mile per hour and kill my family. Yeah. Or myself. Right. So I just, I'm just not a fan of those two things, man. So, I mean, I didn't always have the perspective of, of these things. We, I, I feel like when we raced back in the day, we raced pretty safely and we didn't. We still do. Yeah. When we go to street race, I mean, there's some idiots standing in the front. There's nothing we can do to move them out of the way. But right. lately we've not been racing. Right. Like you're not moving back. We're not going to race. Right. Dude, you, anything can happen. Yeah. Seriously. You can. Break axle. You can lose control and hit yeah. someone. There you go. I never stood in front of the line. <laughs> Man. I never. And I don't, I don't know, know, I don't know why, why people do. There you go. Yeah. There's people dying standing yeah. in the front. Yeah. I mean, it's. I, I don't think people. I think when you're young, you don't think about the consequences. Like, you don't think about the long-term consequences. I, know, I didn't. I did a bunch of dumb stuff when I was young. But I don't think about, you know, you don't. I had an element of safety and I think we had an element of respect and safety when we did things, but we still didn't think about, you know, all the aspects of, of, I mean, we, now we do, now we think about things in a much more mature way, but, yeah. and, but it's, we still street race. We still race. We're still out there doing stuff, but like, I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I guess it's when you're young, these things are, are just innate. You don't think that way. Yeah. You think you're going to live forever. You know, you think you're immortal and these things aren't going to affect you until they do. And all these are, if you think about this, youngsters. Yeah. All youngsters. Yeah. You know, and it's sad, but hey, it is what it is. Right. You know, and people don't learn at yeah. all. So something happened to them and then they will learn. And they'll learn. So I hope mm -hmm. there's a, you know, because it's all culture, right? It's all in the culture, right? In our street racing culture in the 90s, there was respect and there was, you know, we had a way that we did things. Right. And people were people were thugs. People were dangerous. You know what I mean? Like you didn't cross people. Mm -hmm. You talk you talk shit, but you didn't you know, you didn't disrespect people. Yeah. yeah. And that was that was understood. And now. It's social media. Right. Back in the days it was not social media. So we right. just said whatever we want to each other's face. Right. But now they shake your hand. They're cool with you. As soon as they go home, get on the Internet or on their phone, they start talking crap. It's terrible. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And. Let's say me and you're cool about it, right? But uh, your your uh, people or my people going out at each other, and then makes us go at each other again right. when we see each other. So social media is the what yeah makes the scene bad. But I think you're it right. is what it is. Yeah, you're right about that. Before we used to page each other. Let's how bad <laughs> it was. I used to page people from home. Right. You know, and I remember those days. There you go. Or or cell phone that There's people there's people watching this who don't even know what a pager is. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> it's a okay, Let's a pager, a if pager is a, a little black box <laughs> that you'd wear on your hip, right? <laughs> and if somebody wanted to get a hold of you, they would call a phone number that was your pager number. Not your pager, they would call a number, then they would enter a phone number on the keypad on the phone, right? Or whatever. Yeah. You know. And it would show up on your pager in a digital little readout that would show maybe I don't know fifteen numbers, and they could they could page you codes and yeah, all we used to have codes. Yeah, you had little codes and what was going down. There you go. And then they would give you a callback number. You'd have to call them back at the number you called me called them at that they called you at. It was a whole a bunch of quarters in your pocket. You'd have you to find a payphone. The payphone, and then when the cell phones start coming out, you only had like twenty minutes a month. Yeah, you know, and the so cell phones were like, hey, big. hold on. <laughs> hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, we're going to go street race. For sure, hold on. I can't. I got to pull my antenna up. Hold on. You Hurry know? up. I got a hey. one minute left. Oh, man, my head's getting hot. <laughs> I feel my brain baking. I got to hang up. <laughs> <laughs> so we used to, you know, that's what that's all we had. Right. We didn't have to sit down talking crap online, you know. No, but no, now, one had, no one had money or time for that. Right now, it's just like as soon as you leave the streets, yeah, you in the car. You, the door's not even closed yet to leave, and then there you go. The shit talking already pops. They're already posting. Fool, you in a there. parking lot <laughs> next to me. You're talking shit to me. Yeah, you know, come out and say it. So yeah, that's yeah. how social media is. No, I, I got a taste of that when I, um, so when the MTV show came out. Mm -hmm. um, remember Honda Tech, right? Yeah. So I was on Honda Tech, and 
somebody hit me up. They're like, oh, hey, you got to check out this. They got a thread. People are talking about you. And I went on uh, one day, right? One day I went on. I looked at posts that people were talking about me. And, and it was like some people were talking. Some people were talking crap. They were just saying a bunch of very negative things about me that these people didn't even know me. And That's I'm just like, is, and I'm like, I looked at it and it kind of hurt my feelings at first. And then I just, I realized that it's my bad for like, it's my bad for putting energy into it. And so that was the last day I looked at all of them and I had, there were some people who were like, had my back and some, and it was like this whole, th and it was rather, on that day. I realized that like. People are just going to talk shit no mm -hmm. matter what. And these are people who probably don't even have cars and sitting in on their keyboard. That's and exactly what I was saying. Yeah. See, everybody knows me as me talking shit. Right. And I do talk shit, but I have something to back it up. Yeah, it's true. You get what I'm telling you? Yeah. If I say I'm going to run your car, bring it out, I have a car. Right. But 99.9% .9 of these people on social media, they don't even have a car. Or if they do... They don't want to race you. Oh, they're like, I'll race you, man. You I'll go. race you anytime. And then they're like, all right, let's do it. And they're like, oh, know, but, uh, you know. Did you notice that the people that don't want to race you is the one with the big throwing out money? Oh, I'll race you for 10000 yeah, 5000 yeah, yeah. Be scared of the one that said I'll run you for 500 Yeah. Those, that's the guy. That's the guy. That's the guy going to run you. And yeah. who's that guy? Me. Yeah. When I told you I'll run you for 500 bucks, you better get ready because I'm not lying. Yeah. yeah I'm yeah. not going to say 5,000 because I'm going to be bluffing. Right. You know what I mean? People are going to come out there. Okay, let's say well, you agree to race for $5,000 with me, but you're going to bring your mortgage money, your whatever money you have. You think you're going to double it, right? Right. But you're going to get fucking walked. Right. And you don't want to pay me because that's your that's your fucking, you know, right. rent money. Yeah. And so that's that's when that's when all those situations there you happen. Go. Yeah. But if if you agree to run me for five hundred dollar, I'll take you serious. Yeah, yeah. And I come to the street and I fucking run you. And it didn't. I feel like back in the day, it it wasn't even, you know. I mean, Fast and Furious. They talk about yeah, yeah. big buy-ins and stuff. It wasn't that big of a buy-in. No, you know, there, dude, was used, there was there was sometimes. We used to race for two hundred fifty bucks. <clears throat> yeah. And then if I lose, I will have paid up. There's no reason for me to fight you. Right. Two hundred fifty dollar. Right, right. But now everybody wants to race for freaking over five thousand dollar and stuff. Right. You know, I don't mind. Right. When I go to the street, I, I put down like 500 bucks out of my pocket or 1000 bucks. Yeah, and everyone Everybody chip in. Yeah, yeah. Chip in. It's so, a pot. so no one's really losing that much. Right. But a lot of people I've seen, they put 2000 3000 And then when the other party lose, yeah. they don't want to pay because like, hey, dude, don't pay them. Don't pay them. Right. You know, that's my money. That's all I had. Right. It happened to me before. I, I had a race that uh, it was a pretty big, I think it was like about $6,500. Right. And someone put $2,000 in my race. And that was the day, the night that I actually broke my transmission. So I lost. Right. He didn't want to pay. I, we pay. We pay yeah, the yeah, pot. Yeah. He took his 2000 He said, I'm not going to pay that 2000 So it made me look bad. So yeah, what yeah. I did, I told the guy, hey, you know what? I'll put 2000 uh, Here, I'll give you the 2000 that this guy didn't want. He said, you know what, B? I'll race you for that 2000 Right. You're a man of it. Yeah. Fix your car. Cool. And I fixed my car. I ran him. Yeah. And I won. Cool. But I didn't take his money. I said, remember, I owed you 2000 yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's ethics, man. You know, there's, there's so the, losers the out there. That's the respect there you go. that it was back mm -hmm. in the day. Yep. And that's what people don't understand. Mm -hmm. Right. And and it wasn't always because most people were armed, you know, carrying a firearm, you know. Yeah. But they were, you know, and a lot of people, a lot of people I race with, they all, they all packed heat. Oh, that everybody is like everybody's these days, but it doesn't work. Take someone's right, life, right? But over it was that. a different. I feel like it was a different because that wasn't even a thing. Like you, people didn't bring them out though. People didn't pull them out and wave them yeah. around unless something really went down, and that was that's the the respect level. You know what I mean? And now today, I think I don't all think that happened back in starting in the two thousand, but in the nineties, everybody used their you know their fists. Everyone used Let's their go. fists, even <laughs> though if, even if they were armed, you know, they yeah. still use their. There was some occasions, you but know. But now these days, it's just like over anything. Yeah, they'll pull it out. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there, somebody pulled the gun out at that that night with the. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna bring. Let's don't bring names out of the cars, but everybody gonna know. Yeah, it happens. You it see? happens. Yeah, over a stupid thing, man. Stupid stuff. They didn't want to pay. Yep. Yeah. Saying about what, what was it? They were like something about it was a it was an eighth race or it was a quarter race. It, it was a quarter. It was a quarter race. They're trying to say it was an eighth race after the fact. Yeah, something like that. Something something funny like that. But yeah, 
people don't want to pay. It's a lot of money to lots of people, you know. Yeah. So, like I said, keep it small. Yeah. I understand it costs more. You put in more uh, into your car. Right. And it doesn't work for you to do 500 for a race. Yeah. Then don't 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 fix up your car because this is right. a hobby. This is not a source of income. Right. Racing is not a source of income. Well, you know how to make a lot of money racing, right? Yeah, I understand. But S- start with double that. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't you don't go to street race to to say, hey, I'm going to pay my rent with it or or no. go, go go vacation with it. No, it's just a fun hobby. At the same time, uh, I mean, that it's, a way, hu- it's kind of a hustle, though. It is a you hustle. Can, you can make some pretty good money on it. You can, but it's never going to be. I don't know about today, though. It's expensive. Today is different because social media. Like you Every can't, time I take my car out, man, when something happened to it, it's over ten grand to fix it. Yeah. There's no way that you're going to make money. Right. Even going to a track. Yeah. You know, let's say I went first place in my class. Right. What was it, $2,500? Yeah, yeah. $3,000? It cost me 1000 just to get there. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like back in the days, 400 horsepower was a lot. Yeah. Right now, if you're not making over 1,200 horsepower, don't park your car, up. don't yeah, show up. Yeah. That's so crazy. It That's is. So, it's cool. It's really cool. I love I love seeing the 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 bar being raised continually. Mm-hmm. And I love, to, I love to have been in there from the beginning when it was just like, Intake exhaust was like huge. It was a know. lot. Whew. You know, you bro, you deck. got DC <laughs> headers on there. You made five hundred horsepower. You the king. Yeah, you know? yeah. But now, <laughs> five hundred horsepower is nothing. Five hundred horsepower is a streetcar. Uh, is it? Is a <laughs> not st- economy, even a Is an economy commuter. <laughs> but uh, yeah, everything's changed. But we still not giving up. Yeah, where do you, you know, see- I'm getting old. You know, I'm like I'm. I'm 45 years old. I'm about to be 46 soon. Don't say that. It means I'm getting old too. You can't. We can't say it. We're getting young. <laughs> we're still but, uh, playing with these we're things. We're still, we're still doing it. You know, yeah. we're keeping it. You know, yeah, the game alive. So. You think you'll ever hit East Coast? I want to. Yeah. Every time I try to go East Coast, something happened. Like in 2000, from 2017 to 2019 was the worst years for me. Yeah. My dad was sick. Yeah. So for two years, I closed the shop just to take care of him because he had right. cancer. Damn. I didn't want to put him in rehab, none of that. So that pushed me back a lot, and I was stressing. Right. All this white hair, man, just came out. I'm telling you, like in yeah, 2017. I had, a, I had a daughter. That's where I got all this from, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I went through hell. So when my dad passed away in 2019, it took me like a few months still to recover, and I came back. Yeah. And I came back crazy, yeah. you know, jump into the all-wheel drive and – you know, getting faster and faster every time. Right. And um, now I'm putting my son into this game. Yeah. My youngest one. He's only 12 and a half, man. That's wild. And he's into cars. Like, you've seen him. Yeah. I can't race without him. Right. He was, since he was a kid, he was at the shop with me, street racing. Even though right now he's only 12 years old. But if, think about when we go to the street, he does... My tire pressures. He does my prepping. He does get yeah. my car ready. I all I do, I just get in my car. Yeah, and race. That's amazing. he always tells me that. He's on for it for all the respect. Shut up, sit in the car. You race. I'll do the rest. He's on, and it. I trust him. Like, yeah. if he's doing the tire pressure, I know what he's doing. Right, you know, and he's into that game hundred percent. I think he's gonna get worse than I am because <laughs> he's like at this age already doing it. You know, yeah, and um. That's a good feeling, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. What kid you see 12 years old have a 1,200 horsepower all-wheel drive car? No, I don't, yeah. I you don't. know, and in most of the things, he he does, you know, come help do his own stuff. Right. Most of it is his own money that, you know, we put money in his saving and all that. Yeah. I don't want to stop him. He's he's into what he likes. Right. And I, uh, me and my, uh, my wife, you know, 100% behind him. Yeah. And... Keep him out of trouble, you know what I mean? So oh, yeah. when he's cars will keep you out of trouble. They'll school, get you into trouble, but they'll keep you out of the big trouble. Big trouble. Yeah. Like he's at school lunch, he texts me, Dad, what you do? Something new to the car, what you doing at the shop? Oh, it's lunch yeah, time. Yeah, that's cool. You know, I love you, Dad. This after school, can I come over? Yeah. Yeah, come over. Um, you know, weekends he comes with me, works on his car. He's really excited, you know what I mean? Yeah. He can't wait to get the car started. Like, you know, I know I that. want I'm putting him to get this junior license, you know. NHR license. So once you drive, he'll drive that. Yeah, you'll detune it, or how is it? How are you gonna? Yeah, we're gonna 
keep it off the wastegate for right now. And yeah. he, he can go certain time and mile per hour for right, right. now. But, you know, he's like, Dad, I'm going to hit the street. But I was like, no, you're still too young, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he's already, wow. yeah, he's already getting to that. Um, that's your boy tr- right there. Yeah, yeah, I try to keep him on the track only for right now. Yeah. that's a Wow, that's a big car to get into. Yeah, right away. first car. He actually, believe it or not, he drove the four-door. Yeah? Yeah, we went to the street. He drove it, you know, did a couple here and there, pull, wow. but not all the way. Yeah. But he's 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 getting there, you That's know. Cool. But once he gets behind the wheel, go to track. Um, we're gonna do is uh the rental at the track. Yeah. So that way we can be there all day. Yeah. It's not that bad. You get ten cars and a two hundred fifty dollar car. You yeah. can be there all day. So cool. that way I can, you yeah, know, get him used to build the him car. up to the speed mm-hmm. and the, the get him at like five hundred fifty six hundred horsepower for all wheel drive. It's yeah. freaking fast. Right. Right. Still, you know, but uh, get him used to it, and. You know, from there, years, time goes fast, man. Yeah. As soon as you know, he's going to be faster and faster, you you know. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, My, um, I know that feeling of just, because my daughter Mia, she helped me put the motor in this thing. Mm -hmm. Like the Duramax. She helped me with the swaps and she was like little. (laughs) And she's out there. She got older and older and older. It took a while. And the, when we were doing that final install, she's out there for like seven hours with me, like, putting stuff on mm-hmm. and bolting stuff on. And I'm sure he's the same way. Oh, yeah. Dude. He just doesn't want to leave. All my kids were like that. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, my oldest son is 25. My other son is 23. Yeah. They were all into cars. Right. But, you know, when my other son turned 18, the my um, second son, yeah, he went to the Marines. Right. Semper so, Fi. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. once he went to the Marines, everything changed. Right. And then he got married. And he has a kid. Right. And my oldest son uh, used to be in the car. Now he's a bodybuilder. Right. So... Like, everybody's doing their own things, you know what I mean? I think, so. Th- and my daughter, she does wrestling. That's cool. Yeah, she yeah. does wrestling, and then she's going to be doing uh, the UFC fights and stuff yeah. like that. So she's she's out there also. Right. But she was not into cars. She was the only one. Yeah. Yeah, she talked about it, but, you know, went to racetrack here and there, but she was always into, She she's a Tom. Tom girl, let's put it that Tom way. Tom girl, yeah, because she grew up with all boys. Well, she's a strong woman. That's oh what yeah, she there you go. Yeah, she's a strong woman. Yeah, and you know, she's actually it is strong. Yeah, yeah, and she, you know, all my kids are tall. I'm the shortest one. <laughs> they lucked out, man. They all tower over you. Yeah, and the funny thing is, me and my wife short, and then my kids are all tall. Wow. And we got it from the mom side. Yeah. Uh, my mother in law, my, um, you know, the my brother-in-law's all tall right so uh, they got it from there it's not from my family all my family were short so well, that's cool they like yeah that, at least yeah. they're they're tall yeah so well, yeah it's cool your youngest is going for it huh? oh dude the youngest yeah. he's taking over man yeah yeah i think um when i turn 50 i'm gonna be quit racing you think so i think so man i, don't I it's, think so man it's just like for me um Dumb. It's just too much. I can't just like do all. So I'll put him as a driver. I'll still work on the cars and all that. I think you're gonna miss it, man. I think you're gonna miss banging gears. I know, but I, I wouldn't. I don't know, man. I would. St- I mean, you could always have a sidecar. You got two anyways. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have your four door forever. Oh yeah, the four door is gonna stay. Yeah. Even the blue. These two cars are gonna stay. Right. There's no price on it. I have people right. offer me crazy money for them right. already, and uh, it's not for sale. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like. Too much memory with them. Oh, I yeah, 100%. Yeah. My CRX, my blue and white CRX, people mm-hmm. are like, hey, I won't buy that. That's cool. You could want to buy it all you want. <laughs> doesn't mean you're gonna, it's going to happen. Happen, yeah. You could pry it out of my cold, dead hands. You yeah, know? I think it's it's not the point of the money. It's just a... You know, that car was all-wheel drive in 04. 03, 03, 04. Yeah? Yeah, actually, oh th- late 03. First all-wheel drive CRX back in the day. Back in the day. I drove it a little bit. I broke the transfer case twice. I think an axle once. I just put it away. <laughs> I was like, that's cool. No one to play with. Bring it back out, man. I'm getting there. Getting yeah. It. I'm nice. putting together like a pile of parts now. Yeah. You're going to go K, right? No. B. Wow. B. Wow. B in that car for life. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I got a K that's going in another project. I got a real drive K I'm putting together. You got a K the world, man. K, I love K, man. I know, but my girlfriend's got my girlfriend's got a Volvo. I want to put a K in that. (laughs) I've got K everywhere. I'm I'm done with B. Like I told you, yeah. I sold the my Acura. I said no more going B or front wheel drive. Now, what do you? I mean, they're just. I feel like they're just figuring out the K. 
No. It is. And it's getting better and better. Right. It's a it's a bigger it's a bigger motor, you yeah. know, bigger place, man. Right. Just just think about a stock K24. Yes. With just a bolt on. Cheap E85 off the pump gas station. Yep. $2.60 a gallon. Yep. You can make 240 horsepower. I like 175 to 180 foot pound of torque. Oh, on a, on an NA motor. NA yeah. motor. Yeah. That's what, wild. What B series will make that? Even a fully built one, man. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? No, I know. The head design is way better. It, everything. Way, way, way better. Yeah. You know, but it's just like a. It's more money for K. Yeah. But to me, I think if you go on all wheel drive, K yeah. is going to be cheaper because you don't need no billet casing. You know, I still don't have no billet casing on my Really? I don't. You just gears, right? You just, just the gear. Gears. I just got PPG gears. Yeah. My transfer case is billet. Right. I snapped the stock one a couple times. Yeah. So I have billet, but transmit transmission is still stock K series. Wow. Just a um, stronger platform. Yeah. yeah. So right now I'm still running like Honda Block okay. and Honda Head. That's the reason I keep cracking the head. Because it's just, you're not going to. It's just like too much power for the casting. Yeah. So slowly I'm going to start getting the billet motor. Yeah. Long block. Billet block, billet head. I ain't head. balling like some other people, Damn, man. That's a lot of money for those. It is, bro. It is. It's like some guy was selling it. I was actually thinking about getting it. A long block, $22,000. I was this close to get it. I was like, oh, I'll just wait. I'll, I'll wow. st- I'm still. For the long long block. Oh, head and. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was $22,000, man. That's crazy. It is crazy, but, it, you know. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I was like, I was this close, but I was like, nah, I ain't going to do it. You're going to go piece by piece? What You're going to do head first? You're going to do head first? Well, no. If I want to do the head, I'll do the block. I'm going to start off with the block and then just get the head and work on it. Wow. wow. But right now, my block. you're not cracking blocks. No, though. I'm just cracking heads right now. Wow, just get the head. But I have a, I'm going to use a different head now, the, okay. the CRV head. Okay. So they're stronger. The RBB? No, RBB is a, I think it's a, that's a RSX. Oh, the PR four, PPA four or something. Is the CRV? I thought CRV is the. Oh, RBB is like the um, TSX. TSX or the JDM or the uh, the Type S. Type S is a RBC. No, RPB. 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 Uh, those codes, man. You know, like EG. EG so I never, I, <laughs> until I started, uh, my first K, so this rear wheel drive is my first K. And I never messed with K before. I had a K, like, it was a, oh, it's the ring. Um, I had a K right after the RSX came out. I got a K from Honda because it blew up. And it was like one of the guys I knew worked at Honda and he gave me the K. So I got to play with it and take it apart and do some stuff. Then my other buddy wanted it, so then he took it. Um, but that was it. I didn't really play much with the Ks until now. And now I'm just like, I'm really realizing how cool they are. Yeah, I mean, I went K back in 2007, 2008. Right. And I always had K and B. Yeah. But now it's hard to get stuff for B-series stuff, you know? like Yeah, because I'm sitting on all of it. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I don't know. For some reason, I just... No more B for me. Yeah. I moved to K. Right. That's why I wasn't upset when I sold the Integra. Yeah. Cause it was, at all. It was a B. But my CRX has to stay B. It just has, it's like nostalgia, man. <laughs> the sound, everything has to stay. Th- I yeah. feel like I just yeah have to keep it the same. Sorry, man. These people are blowing my phone up. Yeah, they miss you. <laughs> they don't They're know. wondering why I'm. They're like, you got in a school bus and you did what? <laughs> You okay? I so you, you got. I mean, you got a street car essentially. It's not a street car; it's a race car. But you got a street race car that's pulling like crazy sixty foot times. Yeah, right? one two two. And you're the thing. I the thing I love about what you do is you're. I'm, it's not budget. It's not what I want to say, but you do it with what you have, right? And we're talking about billet blocks. We're talking about twenty five grand for you know, built long block, that type of thing. But you, you're doing this um, with what you got. And it's cool to see what you're pulling off and the times you're pulling. And 
the numbers you're pulling on just on you're still got innovation in there and uh you know it's cool to see that and it's um like why is your car so fast i'm gonna why is it so fast i i kind of (laughs) know but a lot of people don't know why is it so fast well uh it's not always to a horsepower it's driving too man oh i know the driver mod yeah Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) but um i dialed in the car like if i if i if i'm doing a good 60 foot and no one does it why would i change my suspension to something that right costs four times more and it's not going to give me what i you know what i want well we're guys so we think if it's more expensive it's better yeah there you go (laughs) but believe it or not you've seen it i have an off-shelf suspension yeah uh, like you can just order online, right? You can order on Amazon today, right? Days. And it's gonna cost under eight hundred dollar. Yeah, it's not even. They're not even adjustable, right? No, they're just this is a co- it's a f- coil over, right? But it's not like fancy adjustable. You know, nothing on. It's just you've seen it, basic. Right. And it's an old one. It's like uh, it's a blocks, right? Is a f- the the like four years old. Wow. You know what I mean, and. That's all I have. You uh, you seen under my car nothing special about it. Yeah, I'm. I, I mean, I've been there when it run when it's run, but I've I've never like been under it and been all like detailed looking into it. And I'm just like, wow. It's yeah, t- it's it takes just, me back. Yeah, it's just blocks drag that you can get online under eight hundred bucks, nine hundred dollar. You know, now right. the prices are crazy. Well, yeah, everything's but creeping up. Nothing special about it. Yeah. and I still pull the one one two two sixty foot. Right. I think I'm the second pers- person. In the world that has that sixty foot speed right. factory speed person factory, than yeah. me. Wow! If so I'm wrong, prove me. Yeah. Show me sixty foot of any other all wheel drive cars out there. Right. They're running low sevens or you know whatever. Yeah. Show me their sixty foot. So you don't think, <clears throat> and I mean this is my mentality would be, okay. So you're running this, you know, you're running this time. You're running the sixty foot. Dialing it in with getting more specific with the suspension, getting more specific with these other components, I mean, shouldn't that ideally make it that much faster? You know, in in in, in my opinion, but but apparently it's it's working the way it is. So yeah, I guess it, that's it's working for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, if I see someone with these fancy suspensions and all that money they do, if they do way better than my 60 foot, then we talk. Okay. But right now there's no one. I just wonder because you're you're a phenomenal driver, right? Thank you. So you know, I, I'm I'm wondering if you're you're driving around what you have, and if it could be that much better if you had a a better, you know, I I, I look at I yeah, I look yeah, at the I details of it. You know, I yeah, get in yeah. there and I'm like, well, why? Why is it this way? I just don't want to change it because yeah. it's doing good for me. Right. But let's put it this way: if I cannot go better than one, two, two, sixty foot. Right. And I run that one two two on a garbage track. Right. No, they don't prep or anything. You saying Irwindale? I'm not gonna bring a name, <laughs> but they don't prep. It it was just off the trailer. Not gonna say any names, I, but it starts the first letter and the name is Irwindale. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I got a car, I just put a new setup on it. Right. I had no test anywhere. Right. We got it off the trailer. Did a pass, got a one two two sixty foot. Um, eight of a mile was five two, one hundred and thirty nine mile per hour. Yeah, I saw that. Video. And they got kicked out. Oh, because you went too fast. No, they didn't. That's the next week. <laughs> that night, they kicked me out. They said my car was too loud. What? I never got kicked out of the racetrack because of your car being too loud. Yeah, I got kicked out because they said my car was too damn loud, and it was uh-huh. at nine nine thirty p.m. Right. So I don't know. So I got kicked out that night. So uh-huh. I was still happy. I got that. They you just know? hating. Yeah. So the next following week, I went to the track, and I ran a five three. Okay. Because I I let off because the car uh I hit I think I hit a, a, one of my vacuum hoses melted, or something happened <laughs> yeah. to it. So it, it just hit boost cut. Yeah. And I ran five three a hundred and like hundred and thirty five mile. Right. I came around. The guy said, "Oh, your cage is not made to go that fast." So he just took my off. What was your What was your uh, sixty foot then? Uh, it was one two four. Okay, so you're consistent. Oh yeah, in I that was one, in the one. those one yeah, twos. Yeah. So it was like I said, it just that track never works. Right. It's good to go do a 
you know, a couple of hits to make sure your everything's okay, but you're not yeah. going to get your best time or best 60 foot on that wow. track. Okay. You know, to me, the best track that I like, it's Vegas. After that is uh, Bakersfield. Yeah. When they actually <coughs> prep the track. Yeah. Vegas is a beautiful track. Yeah. And but Fontana. You're at, but you're at altitude. Yeah. And then, yeah, there you go. And then Fontana was pretty good. Quarter mile track. Right. But COVID happened. They thought the world's going to end. So the first offer they got, they sold it. Yeah. Rest in peace. Man, they tore that thing down. But uh, see Houston just went too. We lost yeah, Houston. Yeah, there you go. Rest they in peace, that Houston. Thing down. I don't know why. Yeah. But I guess money talks these days for some people. You ever race English Town? You ever no. get a chance to? You have you ever been out for an event out there? Mm-mm. Oh man, it's a beautiful track. I want to go Maryland. Maryland? Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm thinking about end of this year. Well, English Town is gone too. Yeah. So English Town is now a drift track. <laughs> where so the drag strip, it's crazy because the drag strip goes right down the middle of it, and there's like a figure eight kind mm-hmm. of thing, and the and the, it goes like drag strip, asphalt. Drag strip asphalt as they as they it's wild but it's weird being there yeah. because the end is blocked off and then there's like storage they do weird storage yeah. car storage behind it but it's just weird man yeah my, my goal is to go Merlin end of the year yeah 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 for, for even finals? though huh World, yeah. World Cup finals, even yeah. though you have to be qualified but uh, the guy that runs it he said hey I'm welcome to go you're good to go yeah, yeah. so we'll see Damn. trying trying to see if I can make it. Damn, that's gonna be cool. Yeah. What's I mean? What's the roadblocks you foresee stopping you? What's what are the things you're trying to overcome I to get just there? Shop, work, family. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's hard. Yeah, man. I ain't balling like other people, man. They can close down and go for a week or two. Damn. Can't do that. Yeah. I want to see you go, man. That would be super. Yeah, that's super what I'm saying. Cool. I think I'm a lot of people would really appreciate you going. Yeah, a lot of people telling me, man. It's just like, because you represent this coast. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You represent SoCal. You represent that street scene, yeah. that street vibe. You know, street racing still out there doing it. You know what I mean? It's not. A, it's it's. You know, it's a lot of people don't do that. Yeah, it's still till today. If once they find out I'm racing, yeah, you see you know, how it goes. All right, it changes. Man, it gets crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I still holding it out there. Yeah, that's that's impressive. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so that's why I just uh, lately I just not been since Christmas was my last race I did on the street. Yeah. And um, I actually went to Vegas too a couple times, try yeah. to race, but didn't happen. So I did test passes and stuff. But it's just slowing down for me a little bit. But I, I hope still, you never stop, man. I, because I still it's gonna, like I still gonna go out there and you know, yeah, and represent. Because you're like this vestige of this old generation, man. Yeah. That's like, and I don't mean old in a way that's like you're old, but I mean old in a way of like we are we are the veterans in this yeah. in this era. You know, we come from a time that was different. That's not being documented and not no one knows about. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, how, have you have you sat down and talked about all this stuff before? Have you? Have yeah, you? I talked to a bunch of my friends and even my kids. You know, but I mean, have you really laid like laid it out on a on like a kind of put everything out there no. before? So, you know, and I think that's something about you. I think you keep a lot close to your chest. You know what I mean? I think yeah. you, and I think that people need to hear about this stuff and know that you come from it. You come from an, a a golden era of street racing, a golden era of the sport. Like I said, it was no social media back there. So there's no proof unless people that knows you on the street. Right. Um, Right now you do something today's on YouTube, it's It's on on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Back in the day, it was not like no, that. No, not at all. Man, whoever came to record our race had one of those cameras on his shoulder and yeah, weighed about big old 50 pounds. Right. Yeah, VHS, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I pop up some videos. My kid's like, what the hell is that? That's, yeah. a, that's a VHS, homie. That's a VHS, yeah. <laughs> There the you go. Grain, the grain is a VHS, yeah. There you go. Now, these days, you know, everybody got a phone. Everybody pop a phone out, yeah. There you go. So it's hard to prove that you were out there. Right. And when you tell the story, it's just like for the new generation, it's like, mm, I don't know if you did it or not. Right. Mother hacker, I did. Right. <laughs> you know, it's just there's no videos back in the days and stuff yeah. like that. I don't care if my car went 15 second quarter mile, I still race, you right? You still were out there, though. You yeah. know what I mean? Still out there race, and we still out there at, at the at crowd. At one point, 15 seconds was really fast. Fast, yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's a 15 second <laughs> quarter mile time. <laughs> and he pulls a 15 second quarter mile time, 15 flat at uh, 97 miles an hour. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because one, like, <laughs> you know, a ninety-seven would be no. Yeah, you're right. It would be like seventy-five miles an hour, <laughs> <laughs> eighty miles max out. Yeah. 
Because like right a ten, now, a ten would be like hundred and thirty ish. Something right like now, that. your first gear goes eighty miles. Yeah, you're going eighty in first <laughs> gear. Your first hit, bam. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Which t- what's your top what's your top speed quarter mile? What's fast you ever gone? On the all wheel drive, dude, I never got a chance to go full quarter without something happened to the car. Damn. And a couple of times that I went to track, like in Vegas, the last race, um, as soon as I click, like in third, I saw water coming to my windshield. Right. I was like, dude, I'm gonna stay in it. But as soon as I click four like as soon as I got to the fort, the head cracked in half. So I had to shut off the car. I thought right. something happened, like the Roth came out. Yeah, There's yeah, so much yeah. smoke. Right. So I cruised it. I still ran 8'3", 160 mile. Wow. So I think Slowing what happened down. at the 1,000, right. that's when I shut down the car and hit the yeah. brake. I still ran 8'3". Right. So I think if that day I went full quarter, it was going to be like a 780, 790, even though my suspension, the chain, yeah. broke. So it pulled to the right. So right. one side was pulling. Now I said, I'm still going to stay in it. think it's a 200 mile hour. 200 mile an hour pass. No, I don't think it's going to hit that. It's, it's, it's all wheel drive. You're yeah, not going to get the top end like a front end. wheel drive. Yeah. Like front wheel drive, you could run 8.3, 195, 196 mile per hour. There's yeah. no way that all is there any drive. Is there any all wheel drives doing, doing I, 200? Yeah. I think Speed Factory went, uh, I'm not sure. I think it was like a 197, 197 or yeah, something. 197, I think you're right. But uh, it's just like we we got the, the eight. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like the eight. 60 foot, 330s, right. and the eight. In a quarter, you just got to have so much power to right. yank all four wheels to get the time you need. Yeah, That's the reason we throw all the boost. At the top end. Third yeah. and fourth, yeah. and then there's just the engine go kaboom, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the internal. It's just the cast that I'm holding. Yeah. So hopefully this head that I'm going to put on next setup yeah. is going to hold a little bit more power. It's just a different casting, though, right? Is that yeah, what you're going with it? Yeah, it's just thicker. Yeah. Yeah, so... I don't do no porter heads, none of that, because to me, I need more as much as cast. Space. Yeah. yeah. So you don't port them at all? No. Damn. Just none of my heads are ported. Yeah. Makes it easy. Sure. Yep. Probably hurts a little less when they break, huh? Not only that, he's just going to last you longer. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I just don't really care. Right. You make the power. You make the power with boost anyway. There so. you go. Yeah. You know, I'm not desperate for like that 20 horsepower. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. I, I wonder what it is at that at that boost level. You can. It's it's not an all motor car. To you, you know. Right. Yeah, but it's just turbo. Right. You know. So. Yeah, I guess the difference is, I mean, if you're running 60 pounds of boost, you know, 70 mm-hmm. pounds of boost, you're not really going to see much. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the flow here and there, but I think it should be. I prefer not to have a porter head. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Interesting. And I don't go too big of a cam either. Right. People put 3.2s. I, I'm a 2.2 cam. So right. Drag cartel. Did me good. Right. I like it. Keeping not, it. Not too much overlap. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, yeah. I, yeah. It works for you. Yeah. yeah. It works. Yeah. That's cool, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot of company out there helping me out. Like. Yeah. Who's your company? Yes, your... to the side. Um, I have Jeremy from Drag Cartel. He's yeah. always there. Shout out to Jeremy. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we got Speed Factory. We got uh, Mike Hyen. He yeah. always help out, you know, Hasport, yeah. Yeah. Clutch Master. Yeah. Um, a lot of company out there, you know, that always help me out. Yeah. And, you know, I appreciate all their helps they do. And, um, like, they never said no to me. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, it's just, you know, I, I they're, they help me out. I represent them. Yeah. You know, people always say, oh, you do a lot of social media. You always keep posting the same thing. No, I'm posting it because the, I want to show appreciation. Yeah. They help me out. Right. And I'm going to represent them. Yeah. I don't care if I have to do 20 posts a day. Right. You don't like it, don't look at my post. Right. You and that's just because you want to do that. Like, you don't. I don't have to. But you just want it I because you appreciate it. Wow, that's gratitude, man. You that's know what awesome. I mean? I'm out there, you know, representing them because they're they're helping me. Yeah. They put their time, yeah. their knowledge, and their money, their money their product, yeah, to help me out. Yeah. Why can I show them, you know, some love? Yeah, you know what I mean. I think that's an. I think that's that older, older generation of respect. There too, you go. You know, it's family. This 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 generation, you do anything for them, they don't even tell you thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, yeah. you know. So, I I raise different. Right. In in. To me, if you help me out, I help you. Right. 
you know, you represent re- you represent me, I represent you. Right. That's how it works. Yep. You know, <clears throat> I wish it would. I wish it was still like that on a larger scale. Oh yeah, I know it's not, but to me, you know, like as a good example, my son's car. Yeah. Everyone that has the sticker on his car, they help him out. Sometimes free stuff. Right. They're like, oh, dude, he's 12 years old. Don't worry about it. We'll send it out. That's cool. You know what I mean? We do this. We do that. Like, yeah. I, I, you know, like alpha injectors. Yeah. That he, He's really helping me out on both of my cars. Yeah. High end, like I said, drag cartel, speed factory, clutch master, high sport. Um, all them blocks. Yeah. They all help out to get his car going. Right. I'm not a freeloader. Right. But at the same time, it gets expensive. Yeah. Not everybody has a lot of money. Right, right. You know, and so for them help me, I help them. Right. They might give me one thing for free or a discount, but look how many people I bring to them. Yeah. And I think that's a I think that's a big thing to, to touch on is that a lot of people want they want to race or they want to ca- they build their car and they just want everything for free. But they don't, they don't do nothing. But they don't understand. But some of them don't race. Right. Some of them want free stuff. The car are going to run 14 second, 15 second quarter mile. Right. We're talking about here in this eight, low eights, seven right. second car, all wheel drive. It's not right. just a regular street car. No, that I, you, you I know. get that. But it's there's a mentality yeah. behind it. And people, there's like an entitlement or something that people just feel like, oh, I, I'm building this car. I got this, some social media or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be. It's gonna be huge. I think there's a lot of e- there's a lot of ego in 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 cars and building yeah. cars and racing and whatnot, but I think with that ego comes a lot of delusion, because a lot of people think that they deserve to be showered with get with like parts and this and yeah, that yeah. and sponsorships and whatever. And but, but they don't go out there. Well, they don't realize they don't understand what's attached to it, right? And I try and tell people. I said if you, so this company you want to let's just say a intake manifold, a set of cams. Right. You want a set of cams. They give you a set of cams. These cams are, you know, eight hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars. Um, and drag cartels are like twelve hundred bucks or something like thousand around that area. Um, I mean that costs them money to give you. Yeah. Right. And people think like, Oh, I'm just I'm this dude, I I deserve to have this stuff, but people don't realize like, no man, you gotta work to pay back what you took. Right, you got to represent that company in a way that's going to create w- ROI. These kids don't re- don't know what ROI is, but it's return on investment. Mm-hmm. So somebody believes in you enough to hand you a set of cans. There you go. Right, somebody somebody believes you. That's rare these days. I mean, there's so many people barking that they need this or want this and this. But if somebody takes the time to believe in you, to hand you over something that they it's coming out of their pocket. Not only do you start with being grateful, right, but you return that investment by you talk about that product. You show that product. You know, you demonstrate you're an ambassador of that single product. Now, when you you understand what I'm talking about, you yeah. get you get five or six or seven more people on board with that. You're an ambassador for all of those products. So when you sit down and talk to somebody about it or when you're out there racing or representing them, you know, it's it's you are you are uh, like a satellite marketing agency for that company yeah and you better damn well do a good job representing it you better never trash talk that company no matter what goes down you know what i mean you're building the family and if you want to race i mean i i didn't grow up with money and so i never i always had to do things on my own so everyone who ever helped me i appreciate it there you go the same thing with me yeah even i have people ask me tell me hey they only give you 10 percent discount or below what cost is hey ten dollar is ten dollar right right that ten dollar that he could have put put in his pocket he took it out of his pocket yeah and give me that product right it's okay awesome i rock his sticker yeah you know what i mean yeah well you're building a relationship too there you go and And it's just like it don't matter if you give me something for free you hand me a check or uh you give me 10 percent discount or even give me cost yeah I still represent you because you you give me a deal. Right. You help me out. You don't, and they don't have. Not to. only that, sometimes they're at, they don't have it in stock, but they will get done for me the next day. Yeah. To get me going. And that's huge. That's huge for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? This CNC machines or impl- they cost money for yeah. them. for them to turn on the machines or. 
put their time and right. get you know here and there, that's still, it's you huge. know, that still helps. And it gets you to where you need to go. There you go. You, know, you might be down. To Sometimes I pay something double, man, but they get me going right. Yeah. I still rocked them. Yeah. Boom. Because they come they, through. There you go. Yeah. Without him, I could have went to the event. Right. Or I could have made the race. Yeah. I still appreciate it. And that's and that's so cool because you and you're 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 doing this all for the love, but you're carrying the, you're carrying this sponsorship family with you mm-hmm. too. Yeah. And I think that's I mean that's highly visible. It's visible in all your posts and it's visible on your cards. I always do. If you yeah. look at today my post, I post I tag everyone. Yeah. Every day I do. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's and and that's Okay, so I, I I'm gonna jump back and forth with this older generation. I don't think there's a lot of us who are active social media, who are our age, who are like really active doing stuff on social media. You know, I don't think there's too many of us. So you know, it's I think it's cool that you're doing that. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people just got tired of it. What? Well, I, I, <clears throat> I could honestly go. I can go a month without going on social media. And be totally fine. But I feel like I have a responsibility to the people who are behind me. Yeah, that's what that's the that's what I was gonna say. It's just right? like other people that expecting you to be on social media. Right. And they and whatever lives they're living, you know what I mean? They are I am grateful that they take time out of their life to appreciate my life. Yeah. And I got to do I get to do my life and that's amazing and I'm grateful for it. So when people appreciate that Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at you two phones, man. I didn't even think about that, but you got two phones. <laughs> well, I gotta I'm gonna turn <clears throat> on the cameras on my phone because the shop is open. Okay. That way I can see if in case someone walking in and out. Yeah. If the goddamn reception works around here. Turn off the Wi Fi. Yeah, um It just I'm I gra- wish I'm grateful. So what I'm saying is I'm grateful for all the people and the reason why mm-hmm. I I'm doing this is because I'm grateful for the scene that I got to grow up in. Yeah. So, and I'm grateful for the people that I got to interact with in, in that scene, in that era. And I'm grateful for where it's gone. And so this is the way I honor my scene, yeah. our scene. This is the way I honor my friends. Right. Mm-hmm. And this is how I, this is how I go about it. This is what I do. And so it's, it's all of the people. It's the, the people who continually message me or comment or like, or say something, you know, that's what keeps me going, man. You know, I wish we could have go back. You know what I mean? Back to the days. I miss back days. Yeah, me too. Really? Like, yeah. it w- you know, it was race every night, no drama. Yeah. Like out of 10 race, you get probably get one little drama, call it a day. Right. Never too bad. Yeah. But now these days, like, I'm not excited to say if my car is right not down. Yeah. I'm not excited to get it done like I used to do overnight and go to the street. To go to the streets, yeah. I, you know what I say? Yeah. I'll go to the street when my car is done. Yeah. It's not like, oh, I'm going to get it done tomorrow. I'm going to go to the street. Right. So I'm just like, whenever I have time, I take one thing out, get it ready. Once it's ready, start up. Then I was like, you know, you don't see me go on there calling people out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't call people out when my car is not running. Right. I think that's a B move just to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's just because you want to talk. Yeah. No, so once you. my car is running, that's yeah. when you see me running my mouth. Right. You know what I mean? So what's changed? Like, like, what do you think? What's changed for you in, in the scene? And what, what, what do you, th- what do you see besides what we talked about the social media, and honestly, it's home. nothing to do with that. Yeah. It's just like I think getting older. Yeah. And. I have to work now. We have to work three times harder than what we used to do. Yeah. Everything's getting expensive. Right. I have kids. Yeah. They're getting to the age that they, you know, Audi. Two of them already passed that, but I still have two teenager kids. Yeah. I have a grandson. Right. I have a mom to take care of. Yeah. You know what I mean? This everything's so. Oh, I know that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like I, to me. If I my car is not running, I'm not gonna rush it overnight like I used to do. Yeah, to go out there. Right. So once my car is done, and then I go out there. Cool. So it might not be every week or every month. Yeah. You know, I go on the street. This today, I'm, I might take three more months to go to the street again. Yeah. But when you're ready, you're ready. I'm ready. Yeah. 
Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I I'm, I used to go like every week. Right. Like I race tonight. The next day I come to the shop, dude, I rush, check everything, make sure everything's good. Same night, out again. Yeah. The car never came off the trailer. Wow. Let's put it that way. But now it's just like I go out there, one race, I'm already like done. <laughs> I want to go back to the house or whatever. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. It's not as exciting. It's yeah. it it's not like it's not exciting. It's just like too much power now. Yeah. You cannot hot lap these cars. Right. You do one full pass with this thing, man. You like in your head, shit, I wonder what else broke underneath <laughs> the car. I wanna go check. So, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when I went to that Hoonigan show, right, rate, rate when I ran the GTR two or three pass. Yeah. The last pass was fine. Yeah. I literally I can park the car at the ha- the shop. Yeah. Two weeks later we went to Irvindale. As soon as I came to launch the car, car was front wheel drive. So the 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 transfer case snapped, and I didn't even know it was <laughs> snapped during the race. Oh man! You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I went to the Arundel, I was like, "What the hell? I'm doing front wheel drive." Yeah. Car's not pulling left and right, and this next thing you know, the car locking up the back, the rear diff broke, like all kinds of stuff broke because <laughs> it messed up the front, so it locked yeah. the back. So it pushed me back a lot of money right there. Oh, the wow. transfer case was like fifty five hundred dollar. Yeah. The rear diff that I had to buy, like, start all over again. It was another thirty five hundred dollar. Oh, so no, yeah. like I said, you can't just race it nonstop. Things yeah, can break. Those were the days. That's what you wish you go. You can go there back go. to race all night. Yep. Now you can't go out there with seven eight hundred horsepower anymore. No, there's no way. Damn, it's crazy. And then nobody wants to race quarter mile no more. Right. No one got balls anymore to run. No one's got balls anymore. There you go. I, I even offered to give him one of my balls <laughs> to I run the I, goddamn I quarter mile, bro. I heard you say that. I was like, <laughs> freak. You know, it's just yeah. eight of a mile and f- freaking light. Dude, if you want light, go to the track. Oh, they're pulling lights out? Oh, the light. The light. Oh, uh, yeah. Man, I don't know. What the hell does. No, nah, I wasn't used to that when, bro, it, when it came out. To my to my race, what I did in Compton yeah, li- uh, in Christmas. Yeah. Me and the driver told him, hey, one rule only. He said, what is it? Chase is a race. No matter if I came to your lane, you came to my lane, none of that. He yeah. agreed with it. Cool. Real man. Yeah. Real race. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do they flag? One rule. Do, do they flag? Does anyone flag anymore? I didn't, I didn't pay attention to that damn flagger. <laughs> I was paying attention to the guy next door. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the You know rule. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So one rule. Chase I mean, is a race. Yeah. If you scared to hitting my car, you scared to uh, uh losing control, yeah, let off. Yeah. Damn. That doesn't mean I mean you're you, trying for it. There you yeah, go. I, but I, so what? You it's a car. Yeah. You're on the street. Yeah. You're gonna go car gonna move side to side. Yeah. Especially all wheel drive. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's no there's no rules of Oh, your tire went on my lane, or this and that. Oh, your cracked the tire off the light. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, they get picky. <laughs> Does, it's I not think that fun ruins no more, it. Bro. I think that ruins it. It's no more fun. It's not fun anymore because no. people are so picky. They're Eight prissy. Of them all, come on, man. They're prissy. The the generation that's racing now is prissy. Little details, right? Oh, yeah. you you know, sensitive. Oh, I can. not My transmission go doesn't go to quarter mile. They're sensitive. That's what I'm. Then that's put a tranny that goes to quarter mile, right? You know what I mean? Sensitive. They were always pick on Hondas. Yeah. Back in the day, because we were front wheel drive. Yeah. Now that the all wheel drive cars are out. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't see them talking shit no more. Yeah. You want an eight? I'll give you eight. Right. Yeah. Now you're ready. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now it's gonna be hard for for me to find a race. Because back in the day, they were like, oh, race an eight. Dude, I can't. My yeah. car is a front wheel drive. Right. I need my Ford gear. Then you scared. All right, cool. You know what I mean? Right. And if I did race quarter mile, I walked them. That was the best part about back in the day. Yeah. Is that nobody knew, right? Whatever you had, people were like, oh, the dude in the black Integra. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, what did he have on it? Oh, uh, you know, you can get away with a lot. Mm-hmm. People weren't scared to race you. You can set up races and whatever, you know, you, the word of mouth. But like now it's, you go, you race one person, you beat them. You're not, you know, if people see how fast you are, they're not going to They're not going to run a race. Yeah. yeah. Different, different times. 
Got, got, it, change, got to change the hustle. And then when you do get a race, you don't get a fair race. Right. Like well, again. That's an example again. Right. Let's bring it up. Let's bring it I up. I was supposed to race a bug. Yeah. That he was crying about it. I don't care if he's watching this show. I told him in his face. Right. That is not a fair race. He was telling the show. Right. That his car makes 600. First of all, his car does not make 600 horsepower. Freaking bug that does wheelies on the streets. Yeah. The car weights nothing. Yeah, bugs are fast. He says his car is heavier than mine. I started laughing. <laughs> he was crying that it's not a fair race. He doesn't want to race me. Okay. I told him, what's fair to you? Right. He came with his buddies. Yeah. They throw a GTR that is 2,700 horsepower. <laughs> Pro mod car. Right. And they said, race him. I said, okay, I'm down. <laughs> I didn't back out. Right. I told him, so that's a fair race. 1,200 horsepower car. Versus a pro mod automatic. Yeah. That he just got to pedal it and go for it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's fair. So I raced him. Yeah. You know, and I don't care. People say I jump on it, but people don't realize it. I got to go. Yeah. What does got to go mean? Yeah, right. I go and then you go. Yeah. They can say I'm jumping. You don't make sense, man. Yeah. People want to cry. They're sensitive. How'd you do? I didn't see that. I didn't see. Well, I, the first, the first pass. Um, the car bogged. Yeah. I didn't, wasn't on the two step too long. Yeah, and it bogged. And then you know I still six to foot him every time. Yeah. And then he got got me on top. But yeah. second time that I stay on two step a little bit longer. Yeah. He had no chance. Yeah. And that GTR ain't no damn slow. Yeah. That thing ran like four seventy in the eight. Yeah. Low seven in a quarter. Right. But every time, Chase is a race. I jumped on him, but people said jump, but it was the go. Yeah. And he chased every time. Yeah. He said I was not on two step, but you can hear clearly he's on two step. Yeah, I go on two step when I hear your two step. I hate the excuses, man. That's fine. That's the worst. When I no. lose, I took the lost. Yeah. When when they lose, they try to fight an argument with us. Yeah. I just hate the excuses, man. I I just want to say it's not a fair race anymore out there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. The, if I'm racing you, you always have a buddies that's faster than you. So you calling me out, right. and then when I want to race you, you know what? Just run my buddy's car. Bro, where's your balls? Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? So that's how it is now. So it's never going to be a fair race. You should just keep a bag of just balls. <clears throat> with, the, mine with, is the big shop, enough. with the shop engraved and be like, here, do you need some balls, bro? bro? Just throw some. <laughs> my balls are big enough to hand one. Let them borrow it. Just give it back. End of the race, bro. <laughs> just give it back. Add some weight to your car, but go ahead. You yeah. Know? <laughs> just give it back. You know? Yeah. But. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. You're out there. Yeah. Well, not a lot of people. Not a lot of people got big balls these days. Maybe that's man, it. I always had a big balls. Yeah. Always. Yeah. That's why I sit on them sometimes when I get in a race car. <laughs> does your Does your chair <laughs> have a drop <laughs> down? Do it does. You know do the you cricket cut? seats has a little hole for the seat belt. It's always down. There. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, what's the what's 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 the what's the scariest moment you've ever had street racing? Scariest um, moment. Whatever it is. Scariest. It's like the honestly, I don't, I don't get scared. Yeah, I sketchiest maybe. What about the sketchiest? Sketchiest is like uh, when, well, like I said, front wheel drive, you don't got that much issue. But yeah. when the last one that I, uh, racing Compton, like I said, when I lost control, uh, you know, you in second gear were like 120, 130. Yeah, you on the street that has poles. Yeah, warehouses and people at the finish line, and then you seen that. Coming, yeah. I mean, I could show you a uh, footage of it. That yeah. thing is that's crazy, man. Yeah, especially yeah. when you're not in the car, right? From the video, it looks like oh, it wasn't that bad, but it's God always damn, different. It, it's always God different. Damn, in inside the car. the car, it's different, man. Yeah, it happens fast. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Let's put it this way <clears throat> you and your buddy driving on the freeway, he's going 100 mile for him, is nothing, but you a passenger, yeah. For you is freaking the hell out. Right. So just think about that. I have that feeling in the driver's side. Right. When you lose, yeah, when you're out of control. There you go. It's a different but story. But I'm not scared. Like, no. I know to control the car. You can't. But you don't have time to be scared. I know I'm not the best driver or best, but I know how to control my car. Yeah. But if one time goes out of control, there's nothing I can do. Right. But as much as I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I you're know. You're still going to fight it all the way in. And it's yeah. so quick yeah. that I it comes in my head automatically. It's just like. Right. 
It's just like <clears throat> it's not me thinking about what I'm gonna do. You can't. It's think just about automatically it. it's comes. reaction. Yeah. When the car is going out of control, I know not to let off. Just hit the brake. Try right. to straight out the car. Things like that. But and that's what takes years and years and skill. years and years. I have people make fun of it, but hey, that's my skill, yeah. right? Yeah. It, it, <clears throat> just like, I think that's the bigger. That's the bigger thing to note is anyone can drive a car and bang gears. Anybody right? can do. Anyone can. It's the knowing what to do when shit goes wrong is, the car. is what makes the difference between a good driver and just somebody who can drive a car. Yeah, I, I can right now put a best driver front wheel drive car in my all wheel drive <clears> car. Yeah. Guarantee's going to let off. They're going to crap. They're gonna crap, they're gonna crap their pants. As soon as you yeah. like freaking launch that car, it's going <clears> to let off. Yeah. Guarantee you. Yeah. Guarantee you. You know yeah. why? Because that I was me. Yeah. First time I launched that all wheel drive, I let off. Right. I was like, what the hell was that? Because you're not used to this. The, I, yeah. <clears throat> and I start next pass, next pass. They were like, dude, your car's like jumping up and down side to side. I was like, hey, it's doing the Habibi dance all the way through, <laughs> you know? All I'm missing is the music. And that's yeah. it. Pretty much the car a, just dances all the way. A, you should do a sound over. <laughs> <laughs> put the Habibi music over the sound I, over. I'm trying to do a video, one of the videos that went out of control, put that music on. But like every time I try to do it, I Because you're Persian. Yeah, I'm Persian. Yeah, yeah. You, you, were you born in Iran? I, in, in I was nine years old when I came here, man. Wow. Yeah, I still remember. I still remember I went to school there, you know. Do you, do you obviously speak Farsi? Oh, yeah. I can write. I can read. I can That's speak. That's pretty epic. Yeah, so I, I, didn't, I, I didn't let go of my culture. I know, I know a little, I know a little Farsi. Um, Please don't tell me you know Koskesh. No, no, it's way worse than that. Chuni. No, no. So I, um, <laughs> so I grew up with uh, my friend uh, Shireen and Sabrina Rashidi Najad. Right, they uh-huh. grew up with them, love them. They're big, you know, big friends for my life, for my entire life. But um, their uncle, uh-huh. so their dad, their dad was uh, was Henry. We always call him Hen Dog, hairiest man I've ever seen in my life. Right. <laughs> He, he one day he walked out. He wasn't wearing a shirt, but I totally thought he was wearing a shirt. Right? He just had this. <laughs> he was never cold in the winter. Yeah. But their uncle taught me. They're like, "Hey, if you got to learn some phrases. I'm going to teach you some phrases." I was like, "I want to learn some Farsi. Let's learn it." He's like, "All right." It it means you're gonna you know if you ever meet a, a woman who you know is is from Iran is Persian you're gonna you got to say this to her and she's gonna love you so much and he's like okay he taught me this phrase, and it is a. Uh, Achunem mabachor. What is it? Achunem achunem mabachor. What is that? It means. It, 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 I found out later, but it means eat my ass. <laughs> is it in Persian? In Persian, yeah. Achunem mabachor. Or chuna mabachor. Chuna mabachor. There you right. go. I was like, yeah, chuna mabachor. Ku, yeah, chuna mabachor. Chun. Chun. Yeah. Yeah, I'm butchering it. Yeah. So chuna mabachor. Chuna mabachor. Right. And I was just like, yeah, I found this out later. <laughs> <clears throat> I met some really nice Persian girl down the road, and I was like, "Oh, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna woo you a little bit." And I said this to her, and she slapped me in the face. Oh, and I was like, "What?" She's like, "You don't know what that means." I was like, "No, I don't." She's like, "Oh, you poor man." It's always every language is man. Like people tells you, never trust. You know? <clears throat> never try. I learned that from. I learned go. it. Never from, trust. Yeah. This is the this is the the video that um I don't know. We're gonna get this video right, so we could put we could put it up there. Okay, so watch. Oh yeah! Now watch the GoPro. The other angle. He does it on the car. Oh, ow. Now look at the other camera. Other. This is the view on the Mustang. See my car up and up and down. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the street, see? Uh, I had to hit the brake. And if you look at the video, I'm still in the gas. Right. Because you can see. You don't want to f- unload the yeah. car. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, it, it, it was it was crazy. Like I said, people don't realize it, man. This thing is, like, really, really hard to control, man. Yeah, things go bad really fast. Really fast. And when he goes bad, just like the other all-wheel drive hatch, yeah. crash in the East Coast. Right. Man, total that car. Yeah. It's I'm glad the guy walked out, you know, like. Yeah, I'm glad when anyone, I mean, anyone yeah, walks dude, out. Yeah, you don't want anything just... like, you know. There's another view of it. Like another, you know. Yeah. Is, that Mustang ain't no joke either. No. 
And I got burned down here too. They keep me on two step too long. You see, they keep pointing at me. Now they're saying the car broke down, but it didn't. Oh, uh, they're trying to burn you down. Yeah. Playing games. Oh, and he even pulls that. He, you see him even come out of the way a little bit. Yeah, there, there's no rules. Yeah, there was yeah, no yeah, rules yeah. involved. You're gone. Oh, man. See, I'm still on the gas. Yeah, as soon as you... Yeah, it's spun. You could see it kind of like... You started picking up speed. Wow. Damn. But we had the crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like... um. Even though I lost, it still was fun. It, we had the crowd. People right. were like, you know, it's that, a, that's all it, matters, man. It's a Christmas event, man. It's <laughs> yeah, a Christmas the, miracle, you know. Yeah, like, this one right here, you can see the cops. Um, <laughs> I went to do a little pass on the street. Yeah. Mother hecker, bro. Cops were out there, and they're like, they try to they try to take the car, bro. Really? Yeah, but it was in a private property. Private property, they can't take so it. So they even came inside of the shop. The cops came inside nice. of the shop. and Was this right around the corner? Right here. Yeah. Right outside the shop. I just want to make sure. I, that's when I would change my, um, uh, the uh, what you call the transfer case. Yeah. I just want to make sure it was good. I just wanted to launch it. I didn't right, want to right, go right. first, second, third yeah, or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as I launched it, dude, I saw him turn on the light, so I just stopped, reversed, came in the <laughs> parking lot, and it came right in front of me. Oh, man. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, the guy was cool. Yeah. The lady, she was like, you know, I can take your car right now. I was like, take it. Yeah. First of all, is you on the private property? You have to go get a warrant first. Yeah. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's a you, lot of stuff you got to go through to get it. Right. Because you guy technically that, didn't break a law. I I told him. I said, first of all, right. you, I'm in a private property. I can ask you to leave right now. The only way you can come back is to go get a warrant. Cause well, you didn't, and you didn't spin the tires either. Yeah, it's an old <laughs> drive. Cause that's right. Exhibition of speed is spinning the now tires. Now, because the thing is, they try to get me for no registration. The oh, cars on this. Yeah, yeah. I told him, okay, that's fine. The guy was like, you know what? Just don't do it. She was keep going at it, try to scare me. I was like, you know, you're not scaring me. Right. You want to take the car? Go ahead. You know, I you're get like it out a, the next day. Right. And I'm not desperate and for. You're not a, a kid. Three or four hundred dollar towing and a thousand. I don't care. You're not a kid. I was like. But for you to do all that is you got to go out of your way to go get warrant. Yeah. Come back and then get my car out of here. You can't. Right. I yeah. She's like, "So you being smart?" I was like, "No, I'm not being as smart as I'm just being I'm telling you." Yeah. And then the guy was like, "Okay, we're just going to let you put the car back in the shop." I was like, oh, "It's in the parking lot." But I still respect the guy what he said. I'll pull the car in the shop, I'll bring my other car that way, you know. Yeah. And he came in the shop. He's just like, oh, yeah, I just want to let you know that just don't take this car to the streets. Take it to the racer. I guess, I, dude, I just went out there and tried to see if something works. Yeah. I usually do it in my parking lot. Yeah. But I just decided to just take it out. And so it's like, cool. Have a good day. Nice car. Right. But, but sometimes you get a cops that are right really don't like this kind of shit. And they're yeah. just going to give you a hard time. I used to. Um, it was a different era. So I, you you know this. You you drove a, you drove fixed up cars forever. Mm -hmm. You know about all that. Yeah, yeah. Getting pulled over every day. You know how that was. It's different now. You know. Do you find that? I mean, I, dude, you probably don't get pulled over very often. I don't anymore. because I don't do stupid shit no more. Right. I don't drive. I don't. I don't even want to drive these cars. My daughter's car out there that I took today. Yeah. I don't. Even, it's a stock. I just yeah. don't want to drive these cars on the streets. Right. I'm not into that no more. Right. Right. You know what I mean? So I back in the days, I was like, oh, dude, even let's say if I had this four door 10 years, 15 years ago, I was like, dude, I will drive it home every day. Oh, yeah. You just, just, to, just to drive it just or to go to the it, car yeah. meet. Yeah. I'll drive it there and come back. I used to do that shit with the blue car. Yeah. All day. I used to do that shit with my blue and white car. Th uh, that's Drove what I'm saying. It every day. You get pulled over, get ticket. Yeah. Uh, we have to go to, uh, you know, suspend the license and this and that. It's been 10 years. I have no ticket, knock on wood. Yeah, yeah. This is wood back here. Right here. Yeah, yeah, it's no stupid. ticket, no suspension, none of that. Yeah. You know, I'm just keeping it that way. Yeah. Even yeah. on the street, I got pulled over. I got t the car taken away. The guy didn't give me no ticket. Really? No, he didn't because he didn't catch me racing. He catched me going back. Ah, uh, that's cool. 
And the only way he got me was I was on the way to go on my trailer. I ran out of gas. Oh, shit. <laughs> that sucks. He told me, he said, why did you stop? Your trailer was there. I was like, I wasn't, but the car <laughs> ran out of gas. And he's always drive. He's not like you can cruise yeah, it. Yeah, you like, just stop itself up slowly. Yeah. Bro, I literally was like from here to your front of your bus to get on my goddamn <laughs> trailer, man. He rolled you up and you were that close. Yeah, because once you go on the trailer, your four wheels off the ground. They yeah, can't do it. They can't tell you. Yeah. But I got ran out of gas, man. Goddamn gallon and a half gas tanks. <laughs> you need a little more <laughs> gas. Maybe you need a two gallon. <laughs> Just for those special no, that, occasions. That, that night was because uh the, the guy I was racing, he was keep bogging. Uh, yeah. The car stay on. I had to turn it off, turn it back on. So he wastes a lot of gas you right there. You have to there. reheat. Like re reheat your slicks and whatever. Yeah, so he, that's where I was. But it is what it is, man. Part of the game. I'm not gonna sit on and cry about it. No, I know. It just makes a funny story. You know, at the end yeah. Of the day, it, yeah. It, it, when you street race, there's a bunch of stuff that can can happen to you. Yeah. Crash, um, blow your engine, get pulled over, get ticket, get your car taken away, get arrested. Yeah. Don't cry that. about it. Don't cry about it. Yeah. You choose right. to lose go your, out there. You can lose your money too. Don't cry about it. Yeah. You choose to go out there. Yeah. If any of that happened to you, don't cry. Be don't a man cry. about it. Yeah. Come back another. Come back prepared a little bit later. Don't yeah. post. Oh, f the police. F this, and ah, I can get my car out. Don't cry because you choose to be there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, I hear that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, that's part of the game. I talk about that when it when it comes to the getting pulled over back in the day all the time. Mm -hmm. Right. I talk about that. Like we adhere to a culture. I chose to be in this culture, and that culture. This is what comes with it. Getting pulled over every day was part of the culture. You know, getting the car searched, getting harassed, uh, it was part of the culture. So if you're going to adhere to a culture, own it. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that, 100%. You know, it'll make cool stories later. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, like, it's going to suck, you know, if it's something that, that goes against the law, you know, if you're in, like, a counterculture that goes, it's against the law, you're you're going to pay for it. You're gonna Your consequences are going to suck sometimes. Yep. Don't cry about it. I'm on board with that 100%. So I never, you know, you know, people are like, oh, dude, you blow your engine. You're laughing. What do you want me to do? Sit down and cry? Yeah. What's crying going to do? Right. Nothing. It's not going to bring my engine back. Right. You still had fun. <laughs> That's fun. I was <laughs> laughing about it because freaking motor blew up. Yeah. Now I got to sit down and make another one. Yeah. You know, it's just like I don't take it to the heart. And yeah. I don't go there. Oh, I blew my engine. I'm going to quit. I'm going to spot up my car. I'm going to sell my car. Oh, I hate that. Oh, Bro, that's I, the worst. Yeah, I crack my head right. in one month four times. Yeah. And each time you crack the goddamn head, ain't I'm cheap to change it. No. I still did it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of people would just quit. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that's heart. Yeah, it is, but I, I'm not going to quit. You have heart. You have heart. So you're in it. Yeah. You know? I don't do anything else. I don't go out clubbing. I don't go buy. Sh I got the same shoes on for the last two years. I remember those shoes. Yeah. Do you remember? That was the same those one. Those are holding one. up pretty good. Dude. Yeah. Duct tape will do help sometime, you know. <laughs> Raining day ain't no fun because the water gets in your socks. <laughs> well, they're like porous, so they breathe. Yeah. I think water's going to get them anyway. I don't go do <laughs> stupid things. I, I just like my do the car stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think people don't realize that either is that the sac it, not so it's not like a sacrifice cuz it's to you it's not it's just the life you live. It's not like a sacrifice, but Yeah. If people want to do bigger things, quit the the dumb stuff that they're doing. Not that going out and clubbing is dumb stuff, but it's I mean it's not going to get you anywhere. There's, There's two a things I enjoy to do. Yeah. Three things actually. Race, eat, spend time with family. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a fat ass. I don't know if you've seen my page. Now. All I do is cooking. Oh, that barbecue looks amazing, yeah. man. Oh, I Just still want to get down on some of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah I'm, you know, you you don't have to tell me that twice. If you give me a day, we'll do it. Yeah. yeah. Shit, come over. We'll barbecue. Have yeah. fun. Have beer. Chill. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? But these are the three things I like to do. Yeah. I'm a family guy. Right. I like to eat and I like to race. Yeah. Even my tuner... Um, he told me, he's like, dude, you just like to do things. Like, you just made this Integra to a front-wheel drive in two weeks. Yeah. And you turn on and sold it. Right. I just enjoyed making it, right? Right, right. And I sold it. So what? So you like building cars, too. I just like to do it. Yeah. Right. On my free time, I have nothing to do. I just like to, to do something built it. Like yeah. what I do with my son car. 
Yeah. Me and him enjoy working with each other. Right. Makes me closer to him. Yeah. And at the same time, we're making something. Right. And I I'm, love that, man. And I love and then I'm proud of m- myself if my car runs 15 seconds or it runs 7 seconds. Yeah. I did it. Yeah. That's I, I relate to that. You know what I mean? Ever know, man? And yeah. I, like I said, I have a bunch of people help me behind my, you know, behind all this. Um, my tuner. Let's talk about him. He's yeah. really a good tuner. Right. I met him like almost 11, 12 years ago. Yeah. And um, it's Armand tune. Yeah, Armand, Armand tune. Armand and tune. he's always out there helping me. Right. You know, it, he he's uh, he's not just a tuner. He's a good friend. Right. And I see him as like a best friend. Yeah. And um, me and him have our up and down all the time. How long you known him? Like 12 years. Yeah. And he always put his time yeah. before even his own car. Right. Like his car was like he's working on his car. Hey, Armin, I got to get my car going. He gives me a little attitude. But I know he he's hard. Yeah. is different. Right. So I let it go of it. And then he's like, oh, I'll be at your shop. Like, help me out, get the car going. Like, he does all my wiring. I hate doing wiring, by yeah. the way. He does all my wiring. He does all my tuning. Um, every time I want to go to the street, even though he can't come, but he set my car before I go. Right. Or um, remotely, in yeah. case. Track, always there. Yeah. He's he's really he's really out there helping me. Like, I, and I appreciate it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I can do whatever I can for him also. Right. So he's really good, and uh, I trust to give him, let him do whatever he wants to the car because I know right. he does it from bottom of his heart, right, and right. he wants the best. Yeah. He's not like He's going to take the time on it. There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. And then every time I want to do something um, quick or shitty, he yeah. always tells me, hey, there's no rush. There's no race tomorrow. Yeah. Just let it go. We'll right. do it the right way. Right. And then I don't listen most of the time. I still do it. <laughs> and then when he comes to it, he's like, God damn it, I told you not to do it. Yeah. So he turned on and rip all that out, do the way he wants, even though it's working. Right. The way he has to do it. Oh, right. Like you're trying to wire something quick. Or yeah, or anything. Doing and that's most of the time I just want to get on his nerve. I like to see him, you know, get, <laughs> if you're watching this, he's laughing right now because he knows I always get on his nerve. Yeah. You know, and uh, I always ask him stupid questions just to get him pissed off. Right. Is as a game, as a joke. Well, it's a know? stupid question. There's no stupid questions. There's always a stupid what? question. To are me. we there yet? Is the only stupid yeah. question. What I do that too. You ask, are we there yet? Yeah, I know he gets to work at eight o'clock. He's never late because you know they open the shop. Right. I call him at eight o'clock. Where are you at? Stupid question. You know where I am. Yeah. You know things yeah, like yeah, that. Okay, so okay, there is always a stupid question. Yeah, that's funny. Is that him? That'd be funny if that was him. Uh, no, no, <laughs> it's my son messaging me. Yeah. Um. So, he's, like, me and him always talk. Like, there's not right. a day that me and him don't talk for, like, hours over the phone. Right. Or we each other after dino, like, hey, let's go to the casino. Well, that's the, you guys are the, that's the team, right? Yeah, it's you just like. The, that's the team, right? That's the baseline team, right? Yeah, it's just, yeah. like, he's the only close friend that I have, but I have a bunch of good friends, don't right. get me wrong. But right, right. me and him always, like. Yeah. There's not a day that we don't talk. And if I don't call him, yeah. He calls like, "What happened?" I was like, "Nothing." He's like, "How come you didn't call me?" How far how far is he from here? Um, he's about 35 40 minute drive. Yeah. He's up the hill, yeah. Hesperia area. Right. But uh yeah, we always like hang out. That's cool, man. Right before you came, yeah. when I saw you turn into my street, I saw the boss. Yeah. I told him, "Hey, he's here. I get I call you back." Oh, wow. I bet you he's waiting for me to call him. <laughs> <laughs> Because I didn't call him back. He's yet. mad. He's gonna be <laughs> mad. Pat tapping his foot, waiting for you to call him. <laughs> oh man, yeah, it's just yeah. He's he's really a cool guy. Yeah. Um, I have respect for him. That's cool. He's he's similar age, yeah. Similar. Uh, age. he's thirty five, thirty six years old. A little younger than. Yeah, yeah, he's younger. I'm yeah. about like ten, eleven years older. Than right. Him. I think it's cool to find the there's when there's younger generations. My old apprentice, Mike Booth, he was a just had a good positive attitude willing to work give up getting it right no ego mm-hmm. i think it's rare these days to find that i don't know do you ever try and find work for your you know help in your garage in your shop what do you mean do, like, you, do you ever try and find people to like to help work or to be like employ them do you ever like bro speaking of that yeah let me tell you something 
you never see dog shit where they eat. Right. If they eat their food bowl is here, right. they go shit across the street. Yeah. Or across the way. Right. So if you working for me, I'm giving you money, you go home, you have food on the table, you have money. Why are you steal from me? Oh. Okay. I get that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Don't steal. So that's what happened. You can always ask, hey, B, can I have this? And I'm, I don't have the money right now. Dude, I would right. give a hand to you. Right. But don't steal from me. And that's been a that's been a theme, yeah? I just don't like thieves, man. Right. I don't either. Come slap me, but don't steal. <laughs> so that's, I mean, you've had people work for you. Yeah, but they, and then they stole from you. They stole from me. And some people that work for me that, like, you know, don't get me wrong, but this they come in. Pretty much, they don't know exactly 100%. So, they want to do stuff that I can do myself. Right. Like, you know, taking the wheels off or take the motor. Yeah. I want to able to, when I say, hey, you're working at the shop, me leave, and you, I trust you to, you can do whatever. Right. But some people don't know. No. no like no. I say, if I was gone for three days, I get phone calls nonstop. Hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? I don't want that. Right. When I have a COVID. Yeah. I was out for six months. Yeah. I had a guy working for me. Right. He took out a customer stuff out of customer's car and they were supposed to put things in their cars. He didn't. And the customers find out, made me look bad, but they didn't realize I wasn't there. Right. You know what I oh, mean? He took he stole stuff from this from the customers. Or, or let's say they were supposed to put something in your car, but he didn't and he'd pretend he did. Jeez. And they find out later that it wasn't in the car or done in the, you know. Yeah. Made me look bad. Right, right. But things like that, I don't appreciate it. So I prefer just do it myself. Yeah. Easier. Until I find someone. Easier. Mm-hmm. Like I said, my son's growing up. Yeah, yeah. Once he's out, he's going to take over. Like I said, he can help me. Right, right. You know, my other kids does too, don't get me wrong, but they have their own life too. Yeah, it's true. You know what I mean? So they off. I think come. about that, man. Legacy, right? Yeah, you think about right now my son messaged me, my second son. Yeah. Dad, you're going to be at the shop tomorrow. I don't do nothing. If you need help, I'll come through. Oh, but you just messaged me. Cool. Yeah, so yeah. they're like that. So right. when they do have time, they come through. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I think of, like legacy, right? Because I've seen a lot of things that, like Gabe. I don't know how close you were to Gabe, but um, Gabe Galvin, uh, engineering concepts, JDM concepts. Oh yeah, yeah. Not, yeah, yeah. Not really, but I know who it is. Yeah. So I was. I mean, I was there. I was partnering with him when he passed, and it was like his whole everything he'd ever worked for. You know, like it just customers cars got finished and then it was all just kind of gone you know and uh i just think about legacy man it's like what are we what are we leaving for our kids you know yeah. what i mean like and that's, that's really cool that you're you know your son's taking those picking and up I, picking up that those reins you know and then when i was 17 yeah. 16 17 yeah that's why i got kids so early but now i'm 45 my oldest is 25 23 and my daughter's 16 my other son is 12 i'm still able to be their friends. We still hang out. Yeah. When I go home, I feel like I'm hanging out with the friends, the homies, you know what I mean? Yeah. We all chilling. We always joke around. There's always a, it's always loud in the house. You know, I hate going to a house that's quiet. Right. My life is not boring. Right. You know what I mean? I'm more boring at the shop than going to the house. Let's put it that way. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. I love to go home. (laughs) Especially right now, I got my grandson. He jumps on me, you know, like we play. Like yeah. my whole living room, I don't know, you see now my po is a playground. Yeah. I made a <laughs> playground in my living room for him to just play, you know? That's awesome. So man. it's just like I'm excited to go home. Yeah. You know, I'm happy that I got my kids. They still live with me. We all, always, my daughter in laws, everyone. We all in yeah. the house. I got a big house. Everybody live there. Yeah. We all having fun. And if one day they are want to move, they're welcome. Right. But right now, we're all having fun. That's beautiful, man. You know what I mean? If they get tired of me, they can say, Dad, F off. We're going to leave. But that's never going to happen because, <laughs> like I said, I was never a bossy. Right. You know, I, my girl always tells my wife tell, always tells me, that, oh, you let the kids do what they want. It's not that. I just don't want to push them. Right. You know, l- let's put it this way. When when my daughter, you know, my all my kids, when drinking beer, I say, here, test, taste it. Yeah, drink in the house with me, so you don't think is so good to go drink out there. Right, it's not like a taboo. There you go. Right. So they try everything we try at home and whatever. Right. So when they're out there, they don't need to go do behind my back. Right. 
I understand he's not right, but at the same right. time, we all did it. They don't feel ashamed that they got to hide it from We you. all drank when we were 14, 13, 15 years old. I never drank. I'm, I'm a just weirdo. saying. I'm a, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> we <laughs> all did that. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, but I know what you mean. I, yeah. I just want them to get the experience with me or my yeah. wife at home. Yeah, yeah. They're not going to go do behind my back. Right. They don't have to experience it with someone else out of the house. Right. You get what I'm saying? And you have a dialogue with you. You still have an open dialogue with all your kids. Dude, we joke around. We talk to each other like we're friends, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that's right. that's that's how close and we are. I, I feel like it's probably because you live by example. Mm-hmm. You don't you don't preach to people that in any way that you aren't. Yeah. I feel like you are. You live an example. And I think that says it loudly with the way your kids turned out. And, you know, that yeah. says it loudly that your son's following your footsteps, you know? You teach by actions. Yeah. But they also have respect for me. Yeah. They never do anything behind my back. Right. And they always ask. Right. Um, they don't do anything wrong. I already told them what's right, what's wrong. Right. So they don't they don't do anything behind my back and none of that stuff. But right. we still do what they want. Right. Probably because they value your respect more there than anything. Go. There That's exactly what I teach my daughter. I never raise my hand on them. Right. I yell a couple times here and there. Right. You know, every day, dad or mom will do. Right. I'm not tough. I guarantee you, even my youngest son can beat the hell out of me. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're my my kids are not normal. Yeah. They're buff and huffs. <laughs> you know. So and they're bigger than you too. They're bigger than me. <laughs> I'm like talking to them with my head up in the air. You know. But the thing is. If they do something wrong, they're nervous. Um, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, because they have the discernment for right and wrong. There you go. Yeah. So they because try to- because you do because you have discernment for right and wrong, right? And that's what that's all it is. It's example. Yeah. It's, you know. Sorry, let me answer this. No, go ahead. I'm gonna drink some water. Oh no! Where's my drink? You stole my drink. No, man. it's right there. It's chilling. No, it's okay. <laughs> I got it. Still, I tried to run away. Man, it's. Try to take my drink, bro. Got to hydrate, man. I never had that. Let's see. You say it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good, yeah. I live on those at the uh, at the racetrack. Mm, tastes like a diet energy drink. Yeah. Sugar-free. Sugar-free? Um, you know those um, bangs? Not I'm a, addictive I'm, to those things, man. Really? Yeah, they're like zero everything. Yeah. And it tastes bang. almost the same. Yeah, yeah. I like that. It's a bubbler. Yeah. It's um tickles your throat. Tickles your throat, right? But not the bat way. <laughs> not the bat or the good way. I know everybody <laughs> right now watching they're like, "Oh yeah, he likes the big in his throat." Come on. Come on. I'm used to that thing. Take Go ahead, it, say whatever you a, want. Take it down a notch, people. Take it down a notch. Uh, you have to experience everything anyway. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Try everything twice, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> No, that's cool, man. It's I, I appreciate the family man you are, Thank you know, you. and I, yeah, I do the same thing for my daughter. I tell her like, I said, no matter what you do, in the world, no matter what bad you think you did, I said, just tell me the truth. Yeah, because be honest. Because I will always respect you. No matter what, we no are ma- parents, right? We, I'm not saying every kid's out, but most of the kids have been doing the worst things. But right. you still, as being a dad or mother, you're still going to love your kid no matter what. Well, right. But I tell her, I said, no matter what you do, tell me the truth. I said, because I will always respect you if you tell me the truth. And my respect is more valuable, is more important than whatever you did. Yeah. Trust me. Mm-hmm. And she lives this. And we have a really great relationship because there you of go. It. And, you know, I, I don't want to be hard. Like, um, you know, some parents are really strict on their kids, right. and uh, especially girls. Oh, you can't go out. You cannot have friends. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. Once they turn 18, they're out. Right. They're going to get wild because yeah. they didn't do any of that stuff. 100%. Yeah. So, you know. I just got to trust her. There you go. Like, it's so important that I trust her. You and know she's got to trust me, too. There you go. She, so, so I trust her. If yeah. she goes out, right. I know she ain't going to do none. Right. Because she has respect for me and herself. Right. So I'm comfortable with her if she says she's going to go to the mall because I know her. Yeah. I know her 100%. Right. 
You know what I mean? She because values, we trust yeah. each other. There she you go. Your respect, but if yeah. I don't know nothing about her and right. she doesn't know nothing about me because we never spend time, we never talk, right. that's gonna be a that's where people don't have trust. Yeah. Right. I kick it with my kids all the time. Yep. Same. Twenty four hours. Maybe sometime I'm not time I don't have time to go to her game or this because we're working, but it doesn't yeah. mean nothing. Yeah. I trust her. We hang out. She beat my ass sometime. We're wrestling, you know. But I bet. <laughs> they, oh, dude. They can't, they're like, you know what I said that? I can't wait to knock you out. I said, what way? Bad way or good way? He said, good way, because I want to show you that I'm stronger than you. I said, go ahead and knock me out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. They want to show that they can beat me, but they have respect that I want to do it. So right. we throw a game. Yeah. We play this game. We throw once in a while gloves and said, let's go at it. Yeah. And my wife always said, don't hurt the kid. So she don't <laughs> tell the kid, don't hurt your dad. She tells me not to hurt the kids. My G, this is not a, they're not a regular kid. Yeah. If I'm thinking, if I even throw a punch at him, I'll break my wrist. They kick your ass, huh? I'll break my arm before they, <laughs> but she always backed them up. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. So it, it, we always have fun and, you know, we joke around. So, yeah. I'm I'm really glad that I um my kids are doing good and um in case if something ever happened to me I have like I know that they're do, they're going to do good. You, you raised them right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. that's the only thing I don't worry about. Good. I know tomorrow if I put my head down yeah and my eyes never open again. Yeah. I know all my kids are going to be something. Right. What do you worry about? What do you worry about in life? Clicking forth? Car mean? holding together and clicking forth. Th- th- that's your worry, right? Dad or lose a family member. Oh, that's, yeah, the that's, the thing, ever, yeah. that's the worst thing, man. That's the worst thing. I don't care if something happened to me. I worry about something happened to my family. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It. That's the only thing. That, that's the only thing I wake up every day. Yeah. Like, I know it sounds weird, but in the morning I text my kids. Right. I love you. Uh, be safe. Drive careful, please. Because right, that's right. the last time I'm, you know, I'm thinking like it could be the last time I tell them I love you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, or if I know they're going to come home late, I don't go. I can't go sleep, man. Yeah. I have to wait to see their car. I'm, I, my window's outside. Right. And if they're late, I always text them. And then like that, I'll be okay. I'm going to be home. Please let right, me know right, when you're right. home. So I don't go sleep till they get home. Right. That's how I am. Yeah. Because you care. Yeah. Because that's what my parents did to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm just like. And I raise that different than anybody else. Yeah. People tell me, oh, you baby your kids. They act like they're like two years old. It doesn't matter. Right. They could be 50 years old. I'm still going to treat them like my kids. Yeah. That's good. It's family. There you go. That's how you raise them. Yeah. That's how it is, man. I'm a family man. Yeah, man. I might be a dick. I might be, hey, you hate me the most, but don't hate me because I'm a good dad. I don't know, man. Uh, do people hate you? you oh, there's a lot of people you? out there hate me. Don't get me wrong. I, why? I have why? more haters than people that actually not haters. <laughs> I feel like if in this day and age, if you have a lot of haters, if you have more haters than non-haters, it's because you're doing something right. That's how it is. Right? It's because you're good at what you do and you're doing something right. If you're doing something good, look, I used to watch your videos back in the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. You were, you were like... I never hated on you. Right. I even copied a couple stuff you did on your car. I didn't know. Uh, I never told you. Appreciate it. Your snap on fuel. Yeah. Like you f- snap. Yeah, yeah. I copy you. Hell yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? I never yeah, yeah, hated yeah. on you. Right. I appreciate that. But there's people out there hating. Right. Like they're hating on my shit, but they're going to turn on and do the same shit. Right. That's, that's what I like. I love my haters. I love... Well, for one, I feel like haters are, are good fuel. Mm-hmm. Anytime people are hating on you, it should be good fuel, man. People are like saying like this or that. You just prove them wrong. It's the best, the most fun to prove people wrong, right? Yeah. And I think when people when people copy you, <clears throat> I always appreciate it, right? Because I never, I never for one second thought that. I'm gonna be the last one to do this. You no. know what I mean? Like, or I'm gonna, I'm the first one to do something. But what's next? 
There you you know what I mean? Like, and I appreciate when people have raised the bar in this industry. I love it, man. I love the way people are putting the cars together. I love people are using all the quick disconnects now. I love people are using the Wiggins stuff now. I love people are building beautiful cars and the engine prep. Even if it's show car stuff, even if it's from the drag race to the show car, all everything in between. I love it. I love it. And I love I get to see it. I love I get to see all these crazy elaborate builds on social media. And I love the level that people are stepping up in this world. Yeah. You know, I love that. And if and when people hit me up and be like, hey, man, you inspire me to do this or that. And I do this all this way. And I love it because I'm not done building. You know what I mean? I'll show you under the hood of Pepper. <clears throat> blow your mind. Right. But I'm not done building. I'm not dead yet. You know what I mean? And it. It pushes me to to shoot above them to shoot higher yeah yeah. i love that and i felt for a long time i i reached so far ahead that people are like people still say like man so far ahead of your time cool all right but what's next that was in the past right and people love all the stuff i did but like I'm still going. I'm still building stuff. I'm still putting stuff together. And it's the, like... Like I said, uh, all, the haters are always going to be there. Always no going to be there. And they're your, actually, you know, your haters, that's what you want to keep. Right. You know what I mean? Because they're the ones that bring you up. Yeah. They hate on you. you. There you go. They're talking about you. you. Got, they got your name in their mouth. Yeah. Right. And if I see my hater in person, I'll shake their hands. <laughs> really? I swear. Well, because they're different in person. It don't matter. I, I know Do you, you ever meet haters that are oh, like dude, all the time. They're like they hate on you on social media, and then they're like, "What's up, B? There you What's go. up?" Every day. Th- that's that's the best one. Right. <laughs> that's the best one. You know what I mean? I'll shake their hand and offer them for a barbecue. Yeah, man. And as soon as they leave, they're gonna start talking shit again, or be your hater. Hey. Or maybe not. Hi, hater. Or maybe not. There you go. Maybe they just never had a chance to meet you. Even you know they meet, I mean? I've seen people that, you know, yeah. they come in person and then, then they turn around, they're like another person. Wow. Yeah. And I always help them too. Right. They, you know, good example. The guy's talking mad shit online about my prep. Yeah. Hey, this and this. And, but he comes get prep from me. <laughs> Shut up. Serious? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, you know, there's other company out there that's cheaper and works better. Why is yours so expensive and this and that? Well, don't buy it, bro. Right. Don't use it. But it works good. What? The- <laughs> hey, can I grab a couple gallons? Like, come on, in, in bro. In the same post? <laughs> it just... It oh, post here, uh, message here. The message here. There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, I get that all the time. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. They gave the guy him- talks shit about my car. Junk and this and that. Thumbs up. He unfollows me. Like it's going to hurt me. I don't right. care. Right. Unfollow me. Right. But he goes to street race. He put money on me. <laughs> this is awesome. It's the way it is, though. He unfo- The person unfollowed me. Stopped I'm in the bathroom taking a crack because I like to take my time. Yeah. I don't rush. I don't tell. I, th- I have six bathrooms in my house. Don't rush me. I take one, the smallest one. Just leave me alone. Yeah, yeah. I go on there. The guy unfollow me. Right. But he still goes on my post <laughs> and watch my post. My G, just at least press the like button. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't let me find the hard way you went on my page. Yeah. At least press the heart button. T- I can see you did it. You know what I'm saying? That's the guys I like to follow. Yeah. He unfollow me, but I follow him. That's awesome. <laughs> to show him I like it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you look at my page, I have follow a lot of people that are not following me. Right. Why? One day they were, right? Yeah. They just hate to see you out there. They hate to see you succeed, man. As fast as you go, yeah. more friend you lose. Yeah. It's true. People don't like to I see you. See you, that know happen. you know why? You know why? Because you remind them of the failure that they have in their life. You remind them that they had a dream that they let go and they they put it aside for or, whatever. Or they had a dream that they f- messed up in life. Right. And they couldn't follow it. Right. Not my fault. Or they didn't have the balls to see it through. I let them borrow one. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> it, but that's what that's a that's a but reality. You know man. what? And hopefully, like I, I like to say this. I 
I get messages and you get messages too of people you inspire, right? Yeah. And that's what matters to yes. me. And the ones who are hating on it are because their life fell apart at some reason, but doesn't mean that they can't get it back in, in the reins and can't go again, man. I'm a, I'm an optimist. I like to see things in the positive. I, I like to see that everyone has a potential to see their dreams out, no matter how long it's been. You can get back in, you can put a car together, you can go drive it. That car that's sitting, that car that's sitting in your garage that you haven't touched in five years, you can go out tonight and you could put 30 minutes on it and get it 30 minutes closer to being done. Yeah. There's nothing. The only thing in your way is that you think that people are too fast or too much. They have enough money or it doesn't matter. It's, it's not your the, car. There you go. It's not the money. No. You know what I mean? I Like I said, you you can do the same thing I do as an example. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't have money like crazy. Right. I might make money, but I have bills to pay too, like yeah, everybody else. Like everybody else, yeah. But I don't go to fancy restaurants. I don't go to fancy this and that. Yeah, I cook at home, but that's just I have to eat. Instead of me spending hundred dollars on junk food, I spend hundred twenty dollars on a good food. Yeah. You know, I feed the whole family. Yeah. Sometimes people come get it to go. My homies call me, come by and get a plate and go. So, yeah. I just don't want to give up. Right. Instead of me spending two hundred dollars on the shoes, I spend two hundred dollars on part on my car. Yeah, that's the way it was, and still that's is for me. The way it still is, yeah. Everybody telling me I wear same clothes every day. Right. It's just like I like to wear my work clothes. Yeah. At the same time, it's representing my shop, representing my sponsors. Right. I have fifty you, of these shirts, but you have more important things to spend money. I on. don't need to go in closet and see what I'm going to wear every day. They all look the same. I'll just <laughs> grab one and go. It's awesome. I don't have shoe rack. I have one shoe. <laughs> what when they, when these finally go? What are you gonna do? You need to get another pair. I have to wait to see if I have money left after I spend money on my cars. <laughs> no, I take my kids' shoes. Oh yeah. Yeah, my kids are. Um, oh, they're taller than you. I bet they got same. I look like McDonald's. You're I don't you're care. <laughs> I bet your twelve-year-old has bigger feet Bro, than you. Bro, I was wearing my oldest son's shoes for like a straight. Two months because I didn't have my shoes. Right. And I didn't have time to go to the mall. I ordered one from Amazon. That thing came out wrong. <laughs> you know? And he wore size 12. And right. I wore size 10 and a half. I couldn't even run. It's awesome. I'm not bullshitting you, bro. <laughs> oh. I'm been, I'm in straight up. I wore his shoes for two months before I went time to go get a shoe. Right. I look like McDonald's, bro. People make fun of me. Right. But you have more important things to spend money on. I just don't feel like it's not like I don't have money. I could have just went to close the shop, went to the mall, and buy a shoe. Yeah, right. I didn't care. Right. Yeah. I didn't care. Right. That's what my so my my girlfriend always was like. I guarantee you right now, if thing. I take my shoes out, my socks don't match. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> We're gonna find out, bro. It's not matching. They don't. You got the. They're not the Adidas there ones. There you go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The socks not matching, bro. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm not lying. You got Adidas on one side and Hanes on the other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised my shoes match. <laughs> but bump. you got more important things to spend money and time there on. There you go. Right. Your mind is your mind is in the You're game. You're telling me I spend $130,000 on my car. I cannot go buy $30 shoes? I right. can. Yeah. It's not important to me. Right. It's not important to you. Yeah. I know. I know this. I know this. My girlfriend's like, jeans and a shirt. That's your thing. They're like, they're yeah. like, how come you're not taking vacation? Okay, let's say I take a vacation for a week. I spend $5,000. What the heck I'm going to get after I come back? The car's still going to be broken and need some need some love. At least I spent five grand on my car. I have the parts. But well, you spend every day with your family when you're done. You know? I, oh, yeah. The family's there. We, you know? go, we go out here and there. But yeah. it's not like I. everybody has to take a vacation every fucking three months. I don't do that. Right. Once a year or twice a year, we go out to have fun. We have fun every day at home. Right. Yeah, yeah. Sunday family day. Right. Yeah. We, we go out there and have fun. We take this we take this to I camping. Seen you. Joshua Tree. We just went to Joshua Tree a couple I weeks ago. I seen back. you. Yeah. I seen you to go out the family. That's the that's the fun part. <clears throat> that's what it's about, man. Even even though let's say sometimes we stay at home. Right. We barbecue, we watch the fight, we watch the game, whatever. It's still freaking fun. Right. I can't wait till Sunday. Like I know. My son told me tomorrow is, he's like, Dad, do you have a tune? I was like, I don't think I have a tune tomorrow. Because right. when you have a dino, we stay here late. Right. He said, there's a big fight tomorrow. 
So we planned it out already. Yeah. So I'm going to be here to like one or two o'clock, go home, get the right. barbecue ready, get the drinks and stuff, fights at five. We yeah. have fun. Right, right. But in the night, we drunk, we have fun, we right. joke around. We might have to knock each other out once they're <laughs> there, but it's, it's fun. Yeah. Like, I, I can't wait till tomorrow, like I said. Right, right. That's cool, man. So it, it doesn't have to be a $5,000 or $10,000 vacation. Right. Staycation. With it's a staycation. 100 bucks, we have fun. Yeah. Family. So that's what it's about, man. Is it you don't have to work as hard for that money. You could just enjoy it and be real and be present. People and then put, next day you go to work. People put too much effort on on making tons of money, mm -hmm. and they forget to live that life. Yeah. 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 So I, I just, like I say, I, I raised this way. I'm used to it. My family's used to it. Maybe yeah. it's not Maybe it's not to you or the next person or whatever, but right. to us, it's fun what yeah. we're doing. Yeah. I love it. And then I guess the people who don't do it have never had it, I think. There you go. Or else they'd never let it go. You. So this, this is this is my life. Yeah. So what's next for you? What's like, you know, what's... uh In World, life. World Cup Finals, man, oh, in okay. life. World Cup Finals. That's what's next for you, right? My goal is... I know my car is a seven-second car, mm -hmm. but never got a chance because there's no quarter-mile track around here. So right. we have to wait for event to event. Yeah. But me, sometimes I have a rush. I want to go to the shitty track. Don't want to bring the name. Uh, <laughs> do good. Sometimes mess up, so we have to pause. Or we go to a good track. Something oh, Bakersfield. Happens. Go up to Bakersfield. As, well, there's no, not every day, not every week. Yeah. Yeah. We have to wait for actually. So, like, the next race is locally is in, what, September. Right. So we got, like, five months to go. Yeah, there's nothing in Vegas. There's nothing. Nothing. They still do the, they still do the Friday night. But like, I want to actually go to an event. Yeah. You want to throw it down. Yeah. So It's not the same, huh? There you go. That's why I want to, like, take my time. Yeah. I want to do everything correct, right, no rush. Right. We still got five months to go. I want to get my son's car going until he can get his license. Um, after he got his car going, then I'm going to concentrate on mine. Yeah. I want to see that, man. World Cup Finals. I want to go out there for that, too. Man, I can't wait. I want to take the bus out there. <laughs> I want it. That's what I really want to do. That's my dream with it's this like show. Twenty five hundred <clears throat> miles each way. Think about that. I could drive this thing. Think about all the East Coast old school homies. You know what I mean? Um, yep. Yeah. Because <clears throat> that's who I'm starting with first. I'm starting with all the everyone who was pre Fast and Furious first. You know what I mean? Everyone who was like there doing it before Fast and Furious. That's who I'm talking to. That's my phase one of this. You know, and so keeping it alive. Yes. Cool, man. Sure. All right. Well, I, I appreciate sitting down with you, brother. Oh, no problem, man. Yeah. I needed this, actually. Like, you know, yeah. sitting relaxed. This is like. It's chill, huh? Yeah. After, fuck, I don't want to. How long I just been sitting and chill? You know, usually, yeah. even at my home, I have to get up, cook. Right. Clean. You ain't got to do none of that here. Yeah. yeah just you just right sit down now, in the warmth The only thing that I've been getting is text messages and phone calls. Like, it's weird. You see? Like, it's weird to people. Like, how come I'm not responding back? Right. You know what I mean? Hey, where you at? I don't see you on social. You, I don't see you calling me. I don't see you texting me. You okay? Like, this thing's going to thing. You know, the guy yeah, even they... have to come to use the bathroom <laughs> at my shop. You see that, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I walk out of the bus and I go there. He's in my bathroom taking out whatever he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Like they're just worried about you that that you got abducted on a school bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were think that you know this is a bang bus or <laughs> no man, this is, this is pepper. No, this is badass, bro. Like it's cool. Thanks, Even though man. let's say you're chilling with your friends, homies, drink and have yeah. fun, barbecue outside and yep. come in. This is chill, you know. Yeah, and then I could ditch the couch and pull the car inside and go to the track. There you go. You know, whatever, vice versa, flip it around. It's badass, man. Respect. Thanks. Appreciate that. Good. So what's up? It's been another episode of Burning Tires. My guest here, Driver B. I'm your host, Greg Leone, and uh, you guys keep tuning in. I'll keep bringing them to you. Let's do it. Woo! And we out. Out. <clears throat> cool, Great. brother. All right. Well, thanks for sitting right. down. Yeah. For sure, dog. Yeah. Anytime. Anytime we go street racing, you Let's, know, I'll hit you up. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. See you guys next time.